when last we left the party, they had found themselves with a dead vampire before them. Our resident samurai met a god of shadows and darkness and was given a boon and a blessing, even though he thought the god was going to kill him. Um, Bosric has now been blessed with the power of the Tengu and can teleport short distances. The rest of the party on their trip back to Galnus's stronghold, and by extension, the town they had left. It's a little quiet. Wait, one. There we are. And the town they had left, bonded, discussed. Zir had an interesting moment with a god of nature. And the others spoke about their feelings about Irania Seltradot and her final defeat. And Galnus summoned a slightly oddly shaped goat. They returned to the hamlet and the pub where they had been sort of using as a safe base. They caroused a bit, some of them a little bit more in their feelings than others took to themselves, but they're able to rest, recuperate, and for the first time since their arrival in the hamlet, exhale a deep, relaxed breath we really should see how long that. that lasts <laughs> <laughs> so party you are in the tavern of the hamlet it is the next day you've had a long rest and a good meal what would you like to do i i would like another rest and another meal okay so galnus is going to abandon the party for food and drink what would the rest of you like to do? Taking that revelation about the about the forge and the fire really hard, ain't you? Just let him think, guys. He's got a lot to figure out. That's fair. That's fair. Um. Hmm. Cover is oh, um. Something that I meant to do last time, and I forgot. Um, but because of choices and actions you made, I meant to hand it out last time, but we were kind of like in the zone. And also I was not mentally in the zone. Uh, Zir and Galnus, take an inspiration. Okay. I already had inspiration. Uh, I haven't used it then you can give it to the next person or you can just let it ride. Wait, give it to the next person? Is it my next mm -hmm. character or? No, you can <laughs> pass it to the person who participated in the scene with you, Clovis, or you can just let it die. Uh, I'll give it to Clovis. That's fine. All right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Dreadmaster, have I finished casting the spell that I began casting at the end of last session? You have, yes. Okay, excellent. Um, For the then, audience who was not here last session, that was a hallow cast. Mm -hmm. So uh, all of you, as you sort of settle in the tavern today, uh, it feels more sort of homey and comfortable as if you were returning to a, an old haunt somewhere that you frequented quite a bit before you entered the uh, Domain of Dread. Mm -hmm. um, I think Clovis would seek out uh, Miss Thane. All right. Uh, Lady Thane would actually probably have, when she saw what you were doing, being a cleric herself, assisted you with this cast to cut mm -hmm. down on the time so you could sleep. Okay, excellent. Um, so she's around. Hmm. And yeah. Um, I would also. Approach. What secondary effect did you bind? Uh, courage. Courage. Thank yes. you. Creatures cannot be frightened in the area. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm going to say that even though the um, the tavern is more than a radius of sixty feet, uh, because of the uses of the Orum skulls, the spell does not go to a sixty foot radius. It is just the building. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I think uh, Clovis will, once they finish casting the spell to, uh, together, 
um, to uh, Lady Thane will say, ah, thank you for your help with that. Um, thank you for casting it. it. It will protect the little ones who take safe haven here. Mm, happy to be of service now that I'm finally uh, getting into the swing of things. Um, so, what, uh, where do you recommend that we go next? We've dealt with Lady Seltradot and, uh, returned her pearl to the matron. Well, I suppose finding the other pearls would help you. Um, they are still in the possession of the three who remain. But I couldn't tell you which of them to face next. If it were me, I wouldn't want to face any of them. And I don't think there's any specific order that's going to make it easier or harder. Hmm. Kratos is the oldest. And might be the strongest. But they all fight in such unique ways, it would be hard to tell. Kratos is certainly the physical strongest. But... And she kind of looks around at your party and says, as I'm sure you know, physical strength is not all that makes an adversary. Hmm. So I am learning. Um, I look at my noodle arms like, <laughs> yeah. Well, fair enough. Um, seems... Seems like a good idea, but uh, not something to deal with right now. I think we've got a couple days rest earned. Hmm. There, um, there is one thing, actually. Mm -hmm. Something strange has occurred in the town since you've been gone. Hmm. There is a building. A house. Built like ours, but not covered in snow, or spores, as we know them now. It wasn't here before. Um, interesting. Has anyone gone to take a look? She sort of gives you a look, like, really? You think that in this place we're going to investigate weird shit? I don't know. You're strong. All right. Yeah. Um, probably didn't need to ask that question. Um, but it seems like something that uh, you think we might want to check out. If nothing else, you could figure out what's wrong with it. And if it is, in fact, some new entity, you could get rid of it or see if it's friendly. Hmm. Hey chat, put your guess put guesses in the chat. Who among the players knows enough of a master's lore to have an idea of what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help it. Hmm. Fair enough. I suppose uh there may be something useful for us there, or maybe someone new. Do you have you ever heard of buildings coming through in the past, or has it only ever been people? Only people. Though, when an entity is elevated to the status of duke, they can usually bring something with them. I mean, Madame Seltradat brought the cliff her castle was on and her castle with her. Mm. So, Gregor brought a manufactorum. We didn't build that. That He brought that here. The aquifer, that was here already. Gretos just sort of took that over. But most of the entities that gain any sort of power here are able to bring a part of their world in. And does this house feel of a similar power to... Is it is it Dukely? Is it... Is it... <laughs> it does feel powerful. Hmm. Hmm. And the power goodness. radiating out of it does not feel entirely good. <clears throat> I see. I'm drawing between the lines here. That may mean that... That would imply some... that it's bad. Well, yes, it's but what I mean... Bad is known to be the opposite of good. No, well, 
you you are uh, of elvish descent as we are and Quidan, you said you spent some time in the forests of twilight you have had experience with the archfey mm. It is that sort of energy, that sort of capricious, not good, not bad. Mm. Dangerous, to be sure, but... Well... I was wondering if the power vacuum of No Seltrada perhaps drew some negative uh, summonings but interesting point of interest, perhaps? Perhaps. If the people Has are concerned and the littles are worried, I mean, why don't we just go knock? They could always go knock. Maybe they'll be nice. Maybe they will. Maybe. Not Maybe. It, it can't all be terrible here, right? That's what I've been saying. And so far, I've been proven wrong, but we haven't been everywhere yet. Hey, the tavern is lovely. For the most part. She inclines her head and thanks. Look, if they're nice, we'll shake their hand. If they're not, we'll bash their head. Look, we have options. <clears throat> After I finish my drink, though. Hmm. It's true, we are feeling rather confident as a group, aren't we? Oh, I'm just stating what we might be able to do, not what we will absolutely do. Hmm. It's very possible they could take my, sh my hammer and shove it up my ass. But, you know, tomato, tomato. Hmm. One way or another, somebody's going to be hurting. Mm -hmm. uh, from the back room, you hear a tiny voice go, Yes. Dimitri, stop it! Yes. <laughs> oh, that kid is weird. <laughs> uh, Lady Thane, we did recently um, dispossess Lady Seltradot of quite a bit of her funds. Um, and I was wondering where, uh, if anywhere, we might be able to exchange some coins for some goods. I'll see what I can do about finding someone who will trade in the gold. Most of us here have no use of it, because what are we going to spend it? Mm -hmm. But... Um, Investigate that building for us, and I'll wake up some of the artisans here. See if there's something we can do. Excellent. Uh, Clovis will turn to the rest of the group. Friends, time for a house visit? Or is there anything else that we needed to uh, take care of here? A good treat. I'm sorry? Uh, as in, we don't know if it's going to be a, a good or a bad outcome. So... There's Halloween in Ravania, right? Uh, sort of. It's an old... Uh, <laughs> even even if there is, I, I think Clovis is the equivalent of like a Jehovah's Witness. He would not know. It was... Uh, um, some uh, some old friends of the forest uh, used to... Anyway. So... There are definitely harvest festivals. Yeah. Ah, uh, cool. Let's go! Uh, and Clovis will make his way to the door. Okay. Nation wrapping up on a chamber door. Aha, Raven reference. <laughs> All right, uh, is anyone staying behind or is everyone going <clears throat> with 
the group to the house. I'll Good slam back the rest of my drink and head towards the door and just and call my uh, my goat. Okay. Ah, your goat. Sidles up. All right. I'll just climb on and just start clopping out behind them. Okay. Uh, your goat kind of shakes its head. Um, just sort of shaking off being outside. And you can see, like, the spores just fall off of it. Um, and you make your way to this house. And it's not a big house. It's much smaller than the other houses. Um that are here um but it is in pristine condition um and you see runes written over the door in um enochian which is celestial if anybody speaks that i do all right a globus okay any of you who can speak celestial uh recognize uh the title over the door um What did I say? Uh, where's in Whimsy? Oh, shit. A shop? Oh. Um, you I, have no idea. I communicate the title to everyone. We sell um, our wares. Seems like well, could, be a, could be a store. Perhaps a, an up-and-coming entrepreneur decided <laughs> to corner the market on, on Spooky. Right, so we didn't really talk about, which is something we need to talk about if we're a group, about distributing spoils and pooling resources. So, if this is a place to shop, we should probably look at what we got from Seltridor. Think about what each of us need. What any, what each of us can use. Uh, what will be what is the best we can put our resources toward help in the group so that we don't end up in similar situations to what we did when we fought the dear departed lady Seltrimal. Mm -hmm. I have so, no hope for riches. So, yeah, how many, how much jewelry did you get from the? Um, I got exactly. Jewels and things. I got a thousand five hundred gold pieces worth. All right, you got, you got one of the one of the swords from off the the sisters. Yes, I might. We got how many diamonds? That. Um, we can factor that in. We've got five diamonds um, total currently. I'm holding two. Quedon has the the other three. Yeah. Now the diamonds obviously are spell components and are reserved. So that is a resource to keep us alive. Make <clears throat> sure that I have those in my inventory. We got five ironwood javelins, which that's another thing. Uh, but we should look at what we have. Uh, I can't contribute. Need. I'm sorry. The only thing I was uh, given by uh, yeah, that's what the I'm little one there was the orb, but I think we have to give that to the matron. No, we did. And yeah, she's, that's, she's, yeah, that's why I'm having this conversation. So we can be sure that we have an even split of what's needed. Um, I'm not quick to sell them, but we do have five diamonds, and given the sort of odd nature of death, as it were, in, in this area anyway... If it comes down to getting something very useful, it may be worth selling one or two of the diamonds. I'd say mm -hmm. maybe one. Fair. Enough. I don't dis. I don't disagree. It's mm -hmm. just something that uh, something that um, I really don't want to say his name, but uh, the prince we spoke to said to me about. And he shows off his hand. It's, if this gets to your heart, is what he said. Oh. I don't know uh, how much it okay. spreads. We, we've only had... Uh, Zia, how big's yours? My... C corruption? Yeah, the spot. Um, 
I don't really think it's changed much. Right. And how, and Dreadmaster, you said mine was like in the palm of my hand or was it my entire hand? It's in the palm of your hand. Okay. So uh, is Zier's, a... Zier's is probably like... It was on the wrist. Yeah, just below wrist. Yours mm -hmm. is just palm of hand, yeah. Okay. And we both only died once, yes? Yeah. Haven't you died twice? Have I died twice? Well, she was bitten. Yes, you died twice. Um, you got a corruption point from the, uh... Ah, uh, yes, yes, The yes, vampirism, yes, yes. yes. Okay, I need so to So, how that. far is it spread? So, I mean, it's, yeah. it's at the wrist now. Is yeah. there any, is there any difference in it since... Mm -mm. I, I said the wrist, um, with the incorrect assumption that you had died twice. It would just be on the palm of your hand if you died once. The wrist is the second corruption point. So it okay. is on the palm of your hand down to your wrist. For for, for Zier, yes. Mm -hmm. It oh, is I from the palm that... of your hand to your wrist. Oh. Interesting. In like a line or what does that look like? Um it sort of looks like um there is um a snake kind of crawling around your arm. Okay. So it started in my palm? Mm-hmm. And Boss has... has also started in palm? Yes. Okay. So there hasn't been... Interesting. You, you are able to surmise that um, corruption starts in an extremity, and then it starts to move towards your heart. Okay. And... The people who live here, corruption manifests differently. Mm -hmm. Or does it also manifest that way? Um, you haven't seen their hands enough to know, and a lot of them do wear like bandages and wraps on their hands, so if they have corruption, you wouldn't know. Okay. And for other people, there's also a change in appearance. Mm -hmm. That hasn't happened for Zir, but it did happen to Boz, question mark? You're... Was yes. it, it was like his a tusk, tusk His tusk got a little longer, and somehow he was able to finally figure out the Tengu magic. Mm -hmm. uh, your tusks getting longer was actually um, your spore magic. When, when your spore magic woke up. Like, you, you came back, like, more orc-like, but that was to represent your spore magic waking up, not the corruption. Okay, so no physical changes from the corruption... No. In the same way that the village people have had. Correct. Okay. Though, Zir, you do have um, a very slight change. Um, there is small divots on your horns that also kind of swirl around them. You don't really know what they are yet. And you might find out about that later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so cool. far, the only villager that we've specifically observed coming back to life is the um the girl that was the yeah the well also the also the guy who came back workish mm -hmm. oh yeah we've right. seen a couple of people come back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in in the case of the girl though we we knew specifically that she wanted to be different in her past life so i wonder if that has something to do with the the changes mm -hmm. Um, one thing I will say you've noticed, and this might be, like, a little bit of tipping my hand, but also, like, I've looked at your stats. Most of you are intelligent characters, so you could probably suss this out. You come back from death as what you feel like you want to be. The heroes are confident in themselves enough that they don't change. Hmm. The okay. villagers... Maybe not so much. Hmm. Like the villager that had spoken to Bosric when he died felt like he was weak because he wasn't like Bosric. So he came back as Bosric. Hmm. Or Bosric-like. So I yes, just... corru corruption seems to be affecting you guys differently than the villagers is the TLDR answer to the question, I think. Skill issue. Got it. I'd like to point out how let down I am by this group. He said the village people, and I'm the only person that did the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, but we were in the middle of something. I am 
a child. <laughs> anyway. So. Does that answer your question, though, Zier? Mm hmm Okay. Child. So all that's something to think. Yeah. So now that I've seen that it's, it's so all that's something to think of for the for the diamonds. Not against it, but it's another thing we need to be careful about. No, wise point. Um, and I, I think I think you're right. Um, the the only reason I brought it up is because they are very valuable. Even just the one, if we trade it in a fair market, is five hundred gold. Um, which could make the difference between you know a medium quality item and a very good item. It's true. Um, On the other hand. We also have a very talented smith in our uh, in our that we are associated with, <laughs> that is true. And, and he he's, he's saying it downplayed, but he genuinely like gives um, gives Galnus like a, a genuine nod of appreciation. And I just hold which, up my flask and yeah. which reminds me, um, I have a something something that could could stand to be reforged later, but we can deal with that later. So, to that end, we have what? You said 1,500 in, in jewelry. Mm-hmm. So we could call that 300 each as far as... I mean, obviously, if there's, if there's some you'd prefer to keep, it'd be probably... Part of your share. What I'm saying is, we're a, we're a unit. We're a team. <laughs> we're just thinking on a team level. As far and then and that includes resources. Mm -hmm. Not saying nothing is non-negotiable, but we do have to start thinking as a collective whole. Agreed. But we're also standing on this doorstep, so anyone want to knock or? <laughs> um, as anybody want to knock, I'll just use the side of my hammer and just tuk, 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 against the door. Okay, so Queen, as you went to knock, the hammer sort of comes up underneath you. <laughs> um, the third knock of your hammer, just the door. Hmm. They're open. Not, not what I wanted to happen. And I'll just push the door and just like, like it shove it to open it without, you know, going in. Okay. Um, you, op you push the door open and don't go in and a voice from inside goes, nope, not going to be standing on my threshold. And then the ground underneath you catapults you into this room. Ooh. Oh, all of us? All of you. Huh. Um, where do where do we where do we land? Um, you land in a building far too large for the house frame that you were in. Like, like you were looking at maybe like an apartment building sized house. You land in a Walmart. It's bigger on the inside. It is bigger on the inside. And you hear a voice from the back say, Sorry, be right with you! And then you hear a series of strange mechanical sounds, just like, kung, 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 kung. <laughs> And then a crash. And sort of wandering out, you see um, a short gnomish figure. Uh, he has a white beard and mustache and long white hair, which he has tied up into a ponytail. And he says, hi, who are you? Where are we? When are we? Sorry, People hi. in a place. I have nothing for the last one. I don't know what year it is. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Clovis. Um, I'm a cleric of Stendar. Oh. We're in a domain of dread. I can tell you just got here, so I'm not sure if you came here on purpose, like our friend, or... I didn't get here. You came to me. Oh, well, your building came to, to us. No. You came to my building. My building can't move. 
That's silly. Who ever heard of a building moving? You'd be surprised. We were sent here because, um, well, the, the locals in the area noticed your building and it, that it wasn't there. It wasn't there before, and now it is here. Well, and I mean, it's always been here, but you weren't here before, but now you are. That's exciting. You know, you know you, about like magic and stuff, right? Like things, <laughs> things move. Things move around. Not this place. Hmm. Well, the outside of it. Where do you, it? Where do you just... think you should be right now? I'm always where I need to be. That's the beauty well, of me. That's not a straight answer. Who well, are uh, you? Would you prefer? I didn't know answers had sexual orientations. That's very strange. You're a very strange tall man. He, he is, is a strange very, tall man. It's very true, I am, yes. He is tall and strange. I've thought that And a man. Hmm? I'm, 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 I'm going to go. About you? Uh, I'm going to go sit with a goat. <laughs> I'm going to look around the room. Uh, uh, as you turn around, he flicks his fingers and the door slams shut. Not until we concluded our business. Whoa. <laughs> um, hell, What's your business? What's your business? What's your business? You came to my shop. What do you sell in your I shop? knocked on the door. What do you want? Well, Stuff? That's a very open-ended question. What so is the one you asked me? What do you trade in? Depends on what you ask for. Everything has a different price. Do you have any way to move out of a domain of dread? I mean, technically, you already did by crossing the threshold, but you can't stay here. Mm -hmm. That's not Forward. what the strings say. And you have to listen to the strings. Clovis, you have to listen to the strings. Oh, that ain't right. That ain't right. Are there any, win are there any windows around? <clears throat> mm -hmm. What do I see if I look out the window? Um the night sky in every direction up down and to the left as if this building is floating in space oh guys we're totally <laughs> we're totally not anywhere right now not, <laughs> I, 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 don't have I mean i basically know who this is but i don't have confirmation yet give me just one second I, goes, uh is there a name we can uh, refer to you by that you would prefer hmm That's been a long time since anyone asked me that. You can call me Nalgul, I guess. Uh, um, history check? <laughs> sure. Nalgul, you mentioned the strings? Mm -hmm. And also said my name, which I don't... Mm -hmm. 14. No, I did tell you my name. Never heard that name before, Buzzer. Potions would be great. Great, I have potions for you. What kind do you need? Healing, it's, strength, it's starting invisibility, fine. excessive flatulence. Um, Why would anyone want that last one? Why would anybody want that? The people have asked for it. Makes it into like someone's drink. You'd be surprised what people want. Where are we at on healing potions, folks? Um, I've still got my lucky healing potion that I somehow magically did not need to use last fight, uh, but only the one. I have one. I have zero. I have one greater healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, yeah, some more potions. Good idea. How much is a greater? How much is it worth to you? A good deal. That Don't was say that. Idea. Uh, the... hmm. All right. You don't. Potion seller, am I strong enough for your potions? <laughs> You don't lie to people like this, as you will say. Is <laughs> You're smart. You know, normally I'd play tricks on people like you, but I don't think it would work. See, I And for a tricks. minute, his eyes flash really, like, brilliant blue. I normally play tricks on people like you. I think let's come to a degree. <laughs> I think let's come to a degree. You don't play tricks on people like me. Oh, okay. There are no people like me. I'm discovering that. And you don't have a last name. I don't. You are unique. 
Your string is so sad. And it needs to be tuned. Anyway, <clears throat> greater healing potion. Um, let's see. Um... Potions, plural, would be fantastic. No, potions, fine, fine, fine. Do you want to trade in favors or gold? Uh-oh, gold. Let's start, let's start with gold. <laughs> Boring. Fine. 500 gold apiece. 500? You wanted a greater healing potion. Hmm. In terms of can... purchasing, we may want to go smaller on those. If, if we need quantity. Well, what's more important to you guys? We can get three of those, or we can settle for something else. What uh, would the price on a lesser potion of healing be? Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. You said a greater potion of healing, so I thought you just made a potion of healing that's really great. I was going to give you this, and he puts like superior potion of healing on the desk. But, we're, I mean, we're going to put that aside. We don't need that anymore. Um, a lesser potion of healing than that? I don't know. Again, what's it worth to you? Do you want to trade in gold or favors? Three superiors? 1,500 gold pieces. We also have, we also, mm -hmm. at the very least, at the very least, one superior wouldn't be. Checking with the Dreadmaster, also, how much Aurum do we have? Um, you have probably the equivalent of 25 pounds of Aurum shards. Which are worth... You don't know. That's true. You're not from there. You've only ever seen it refined. I can... <laughs> I think this is... Worth it. It's worth it to you. It's worth it to me. Oh. Are healing potions the only thing that we want? Because that is all of our liquid gold. It's, I mean, it's... You are sort of implying that we could have literally anything. I am implying that because that is the case. Anything your heart desires for the right well, price. You guys don't have gold on you separate from what we just actually got? Do. I actually do. I got 15. I have... How much more plainly can I say that gold isn't the only currency here? Uh, oh, yes. we're aware, uh, <laughs> friend, but we want to figure out what we can buy with gold first, and then if there are other things, then perhaps we'll trade in your other currency. I personally okay. am not opposed to the idea. You had a sign written in Celestial on the outside which tells me inherently you're a good person that I can trust. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a safe assumption. <laughs> Probably not, but it's what I'm going to make anyway. We, so, we, live, we live by our morals. I'm not necessarily do opposed you... to three superior healing potions, but we, we do have to all agree on that, I think, because that is all of the gold. Can I ask you about... The strings that you've seen? Sure. What You deal in... You seem to be reading something about us on a... Mm -hmm. A spiritual, emotional, whatever level. Are you mm -hmm. a luthier? You make guitars? Do you have any adamantine? How are my or strings? Tons of it. How much do you need? I'm working it out. How much is it uh, per ounce? I don't know if I can use it yet, but I'm mulling it over. I don't sell it in ounces. I sell you what you need. You tell me how much you need, and I'll tell you how much it costs. Wouldn't Would you be interested in trading adamantium for aurum? He holds up his finger. What do you want to know about the strings, tall man? He, you notice that he's been talking to the both of you, but he hasn't broken eye contact with Queen. Hmm. Uh, what exactly can you see? Are these like akin to out of care? Is this like 
akin to like a like a three fates string kind of situation. You don't know. You have no idea what the hell he's talking about. He might just be a what? fucking freak. What? How are my strings? Dull. <laughs> oh. Twisted. Uh, and it's your fault. You keep tying them in knots. It's been very, very fussy to try to get it unraveled. And is that your business? Unraveling... My strings? You could say that, yeah. A spider with a twisted web's not gonna catch many flies, now is it, Queen Zanosk? And as he says that, his eyes flash black. Yeah, a lot of my pain is self-inflicted, man. Um, All of your pain is self-inflicted. You've just chosen to blame others for the parts that aren't. Oh, man. <laughs> you, got, you got any... Uh, you got anything that will heal emotional damage? Sure! And he pulls out a flask of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I could give you that. Don't don't trade for that. I could give you that. As to your question, yes, I'll trade Orem for Adamantium. That might be a good use for the Orem. Like, like that kind of Adamantium? Yes. Well, I mean, it's not going to be in any sort of solid form. He's good. And he's got the blessing of some of my friends, but even they can't move adamantium. That's why I don't want, I want the adamantine. I want the ore. The ore can be moved, which you're referencing can't. Yeah, but the ore is unrefined and you don't have the tools to fix it here. Do you sell the tools to fix it? <laughs> of course. Anything you want, I have. <laughs> I, How much I can't tools... be any clearer than that. How much would the tools be? Oh, we need to discuss it. Uh, can I have a minute of your time? Guys, take a moment and sure. think about this, because what you guys Thanks. are asking for and is your thoughts. Clovis, you feel older as you say that. And he says, thank you. And you notice his hair turns a little brown. Hmm. Okay. How much older do I feel? Just a moment. Okay. Since you gave him a moment of your time. And then he hands over Adamantium to you. Oh. oh. I turned to Galvis. <laughs> he, he, yeah. How much is it about? Uh, enough to make a sword, maybe. Um, and it's not the ore. It, he gives it to you in um, a vial of uh, liquid. Okay. As if it had already been melted down, you just have to pour it into a mold. <clears throat> oh, this I could do something with. Um, this is This is actually pretty easy. Um, I hope you don't miss the one I took, Clovis. It was a nice one. I think I've got a few nice ones in there. I'm sure I'll be all right. I hope you, you enjoyed do. it. I did. Seems like a fair trade, then. You're a lot more okay with that than most people that come through here. <laughs> Are you on drugs? Uh, I'm high on life. <laughs> we're sort of um you're a strange group i really came to the best place in the multiverse we've seen lots of strange things we're sort of just going with the flow yeah you must have to be as nonchalant as you are in here most people freak out when they come into a building that's this big well, they tell me so... oh it's so small on the outside and i'm like no it's always the same size hmm <laughs> Well, it doesn't appear that our lives are in danger, which is sort of a new occurrence in the last couple of days, so... Well, that's just because you haven't stopped entertaining me yet. I... oh, it's... uh, yeah. I... like, he does, like, an anxious <laughs> tap dance and then backs away. <laughs> Friend, do you have anything that, uh, I'll... I'll indicate, Galness? that um, our blacksmith could use to make my shield better. Is the adamantium not enough? I was interested in infusing it with perhaps magical properties. Oh, well, you don't need him for that. And he just grabs the shield off your arm as if it weighs nothing. 
Um, and he sort of looks at it with one hand. Hmm. What do you want it to do? Um, I'm a cleric of Stendar, so something stendar E. It is the tool by which I protect myself. Is there any way that I could use it to protect my friends as well? You know, that's actually not as clear as you think. Stendar has changed a lot in the time that I've known him. I've heard that from some other sources as well. Um, I trust you. Pick a, pick a Stendar. That is extremely unwise. I'm in that habit. I've noticed that. All right. Here's what we'll do. He gives you your shield back. Hmm. Find me three blood red rubies, and I'll do whatever you want to the shield. All right. How do we... Uh, so what I'm taking you just... is you want things of importance for things that we want. You don't care about gold very much, it seems. No, well, gold's fine. I can spend it when I go to the pub. But you keep mentioning the favors thing. <clears throat> well, favors are more fun. And you have an unlimited amount of those. And they are worth more to me than gold. Like I said, you... flies How... in the <laughs> We're clearly, I mean, you mentioned the multiverse. We're clearly not where we were when we came in. How do we know that we can find you again? You can't, but I can always find you. So you'll just know when we have the rubies. Mm -hmm. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, you already do. That's comforting. Means I'll find him eventually, right? So sort of outside well, of time situation. Maybe. One of you does. I don't know if it's you. Mm, multiverse, that's right. Mm. The many worlds interpretation. So putting this together, basically it really matters on the importance of the thing that we give you to us. How much mm -hmm. it's worth. Hmm. I'll pull out my great sword that's glowing. How much is this worth to you? Depends on what you want for it. Hmm. Give me a few moments to think. And I'm going to okay. walk over to the goat and just start petting it. Thinking. Anything I could ever want. For a price. And I'm cheaper than devils. I don't mark it in souls. Hmm. They're not worth anything anyway. That's the thing the devils always get wrong. I'm gonna move over to Zir uh, and ask, Hey, I grabbed um, the really big robes of Haragoki. Did you want those? I know they're oversized for you, but I don't know if you would be interested in getting them taken in, or... No, I, I have you're, this. You're not... and, I, mm -hmm. and I point to the amulet that I have. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. I think... Hmm? Where would they go? What's he going to do with them? I don't know. I was planning on trading them, though. What's Which is ask? why I, I wanted to ask. If it's not something you're comfortable with... I guess I I don't have to. We can try and work them into something else. But I'm just curious what he do with them. Mm. Um, I'll I'll go back to the shopkeep. Friend, I have something that, well, based on uh, what you asked of me and I and I gave you, might be of interest to you. Um, I'm in the market for some uh, better armor, physical armor, uh, you know, to, to make me more resistant to damage. And I was wondering if I could trade you someone's spiritual armor. Um, and I'll hold out the, the vestments. Eh. It's not worth anything to you. And it's not worth anything to her. Now, if Aranya Seltradot was bringing this to me, that would be different. Hmm. <laughs> So it's not necessarily the memories that the object holds. 
Personal because connection. It's our personal okay. connection and value to the item. Mm. Why I'm thinking so hard on this, on relinquishing what I'm presenting. Because if you can get rid of it lightly, then it means nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's a matter of perspective. But I understand what you mean. Hmm. You said you had the tools and the application methods that can be provided to me to manipulate the adamantine. If you want ingots, yeah, but I gave you enough adamantine to make a sword. No, I, I need... That's enough for a sword. I'd need to do something of value. Something of value for something of value. Hmm. Look over all of you. And using what you gave, it's as simple as what? Pouring it over the item and allowing it to adhere and... Uh, you need a mold. So it can't you have to be build applied it in the old to, way. So it can't be applied to something that already exists. Not this, though. No. Though I suppose if you melted it down in a crucible and poured it over a crucible, you could make something new. But... You're a devotee of the Mother Hearth and Adivar. You know that creation comes from destruction. I have spent my entire training as a god guy avoiding the temptation of chasing anything I could ever want. So this level of power is... Uh, too, too much. I will stick to the potions. I would love a potion. That is that is that is what I want. That is what I want. You should have spent more time with Vars. What kind of potion do you want? More time. More time. It was all the time I had. How? None of. <laughs> Do you want to talk to him again? Don't you dare. I think Clovis would put a hand on Quedon's shoulder and say, Steady friend. I don't mean to offend. I honestly thought it would help. I... <laughs> I thought Your it strings would help are the brightest too. where they intersect with his. I thought it would help for... A very, very, very long time, and now that is the least of things I need to be talking about. These are my friends. These are my people. These are the people I would fight and die for. I would never. I. I don't want to. I don't want to go back to. I can't. I can't go back to thinking that it is as easy as just asking. I believe you. What kind of potion do you want? Healing is fine. Um, he hands you a potion of uh, greater healing. And he says, I think that's worth the price of releasing a burden. And then he smiles and kind of pats your, pats your leg. Oh yeah, this guy's you... short, right? Mm -hmm. He's an old. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, how, do you... how do you meet... Uh... He, he's, like, walked past you at this yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was sort of the intention of cutting that line off. Yeah, excellent. Mm -hmm. I'd be interested in what your uh, offer would be. What I want is the tools and the knowledge on how to apply this properly and the resources to make proper attempts. What are you trying to make? This, I hold up my hammer. This, I clasp my chest, my armor. 
and something for those two. If I have to give up my old part of my old party, I damn sure better be able to do something for my new one. That's a lot for one measly sword. Even if it was Corey's. It wasn't Corey's sword. Oh, sorry, that was a Borkhan. DM confusion. Okay. Even if it was Borkhan's. It wasn't Corey's in this universe. <laughs> I'll give you enough for that for Borkhan's sword and Corey's pauldron. That's enough adamantine for that. But the tools and the means, the knowledge on how to manipulate it. You already know how to do it. But I don't have the tools. You said so yourself. I. That's what I'm saying. I'll give you the tools and enough adamantine to make a new hammer, a new breastplate, and armor for Bosric and Clovis. If you give me that sword and Corey's pauldron. Throw in enough for a dagger for Zir. I'll give up the pauldron. Don't need it. It's not the agreed price. So you don't haggle, you state? I haggle. But I don't haggle down. I can give up the real thing for a fake thing in addition. If you can give me a make uh, a replica to replace it. The amount of adamantine I would give you would allow you to make something new. I just wouldn't have her spark in it anymore. It'd be more for once I'm done with this armor to put it on a thing to have it look complete. To provide yeah. steel to, to provide a re steel replica without the uh, it being the legitimate piece of forgery should be of course easy. yes you'll have plenty to do that like I said you'll have enough you could replace the other pauldron if you wanted to with the amount of adamantine I'm going to give you hmm. could I offer something to even the trade so that you don't have to part with that item I know you care about it care about them both but the pauldron uh kind of protects my weak side mm. you're also, already he liked her better something up if you are like them differently i didn't like one more than the other if you're getting things for the entire party I, I feel like that shouldn't be a burden you need to bear alone we're a team after all if you have something to even the trade then i won't stop you from bring it friend would you like another moment I had a particularly good one recently. Galnus was there. You're offering more time. I'm offering you a bit of inspiration. <laughs> You're smart. And I can tell that you care about your moments, but not as much as he cares about that piece of armor. <clears throat> and how much of it would you give me for only the sword? I'll give you enough to make your armor and your hammer. Or your hammer and armor for one of them. So if I understand the situation correctly, he needs another sentimental object? Or gold. Though it sounds like it'll be a lot. Mm. Um, yeah, I've been, like, avoiding anyone's gaze i've just sort of like walked off to a like corner and just like not let anybody see my face um and been fiddling with a lot of my chains um uh and uh i like 
rip off of my neck um, in just a huff, um, just a a rather large. Uh, I'm forgetting the word for it right now. Like you know, okay. one, of, one of the one of these that can open. Okay. Lock it. Lock yeah, it. yeah. It's a big old, big old like silver locket. Um, and uh, it it looks really beat up. Um, like there's some like dents in the metal and and scratches. Um, and uh, yeah, I um, there's a uh, there's some. I was going to say it, it would be it, it would be an artist's rendering of um yeah uh hold on i can a uh, portrait in miniature yeah um thank you um i don't open it i assume he knows the significance of it to me um it would be It would be my last image of him that I have on my person. He uh, he takes it and he holds it for a minute. So you really are letting him go. Trying. It's interesting. I've been right, trying. Galmas. And he holds out his hand. Just the sword, then. Uh, just looking at um, Whedon, trying to understand the significance. <clears throat> and I'll hand over the sword. Okay. Uh, he takes the sword and he pushes the amulet into it, and it glows for a minute. Um, and then it sort of just disappears. And um, he snaps his fingers and floating out on um what is basically like, it looks like a big bee's hand he is just um 10 ingots of adamantium which is enough to make armor to fit you a breastplate to fit bosric and a breastplate to fit cloaks you can't make plate for them but you can make breastplates um and uh enough to make your hammer and then also extraction tools Okay, so you said it was enough for my armor, breastplates, and the hammer? Mm hmm And then uh, the tools. Yeah, and the, the breastplates won't be, like, breastplates in the traditional 5e sense. We'll we'll talk amongst ourselves at some point what that armor actually is and how it represents your armor on your armor class, but you can't make, like, full plate armor for them. Mm. Uh, obviously. Anything else? Well, we've gotten a lot, folks, without even using the gold, so maybe we should... Well, you did spend the gold on the potions, didn't you? Oh, yes. That's right. Three superiors? And... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus the one superior that you have, Guida. Was that agreed upon? I remember it was... There was I, a statement. I, yeah, I, out of I character, the... didn't remember if that had been agreed upon or not, but... I was literally, I was going to suggest that we do use the gold to do that, since it seems like we got a lot of other stuff. He assumed okay. that um, it was agreed upon. Okay. I will remove that from my inventory. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you're all satisfied. <laughs> Quite. I hope you don't regret it, but then again, that'll just make what you got worth it more. Mm. Life's full of regrets. You have no idea. How do I get my string tuned? You'll figure it out. Hmm. Oh, I never did ask. How's how's my string looking? Yeah, can we get a string check? <laughs> string check! Your string doesn't make any noise. It's dull and unattached. Hmm. There are places it connects. But if I told you with who, then, well, that wouldn't be any fun. But it does make music there. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, wait, was that? I've got a string. Oh, mine's probably a piece of shit, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Well, if it doesn't make any music now, then I've just got to figure out how to make it sing. You will. Are the rest of them okay? I just hope you don't die first. I hope so, too. <laughs> are, are the others, their strings good? He, um, he kind of stands there for a minute and stares in the middle distance and his eyes go completely white. Oh. Eh, they're all right. Everybody could use a little work. Careful, though. Some of them are turning black. They're getting brittle. You wouldn't want those to snap. What's the weirdest thing you got? <laughs> that depends on what you consider weird. What do you consider weird? The I have caged no essence of an entity of time. A what? The caged essence of an entity of time. How much? More than you can afford. Mm. Important mm. clarification. We're talking about weird things that we can safely observe. Uh, I looked his ear. He could probably show us things that would incinerate us instantly. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I could even show you your string if you wanted to look at it. Just be the last thing you ever saw. Mm. Kind of defensive. And when I say the last the thing you ever saw, I mean like soul obliterating. You would cease to have ever existed. Hmm. Any memory of you would be wiped from the brains of anyone who ever met you, and it would be like you never existed. Any impact you had on the world would be diametrically changed. Do you monitor these, or well, somebody know has to. about them? Oh, okay. Is that like a job that you have, or is this just kind of like a side hobby? It's what I am. Okay. And people give me a couple of names. Noggle's the one that everyone calls me. It's the one I gave you permission to call me, so you can't call me by the other one, but I'm happy to tell you. Sure. Well, there are some people who call me the Nexus of Fate. Mm. There are some people who call me the Time Weaver. And others just call me Kismet. Yeah. That's why I always end up where I need to be. Mm. Seemed like you needed me to be here. Appreciate That's it. That's why the shop brought you to me. None of that was in character, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. Because like I said, I don't move. Everything moves around me. Mm -hmm. Should probably get out of here, though. Do you have a restroom real quick before we go? What's a restroom? A place to go to the bathroom. I've been holding my bladder for this entire conversation. Gross. And he snaps his fingers and you no longer have to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Harry Potter. Well, I I, I the person <laughs> Absolutely do. not. I the person do, so I am gonna it's... I'm gonna go do that. That was okay. my segue. Okay. <laughs> Don't you bring that turf nonsense into my good Christian D D game. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um Man, I really want that caged essence. I can't afford it. <laughs> you you cannot afford it. Uh, hmm. Well, okay. Revitalize. Not revitalize. Rewind. You forget what his name is. Oh. Weirdest thing that I can afford. I Everyone forgets or just me? Uh, everyone. He rewound time. Okay. We remember the non one, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. The weirdest thing you can afford. Well, again, I guess that depends on your definition of weird, but... <laughs> I can give you essence of desire. 
And I know that doesn't sound useful, but... Do you trade information? If it's useful. Oh, there's a lot of useful information we could use. Oh, you mean, do you, do I have information for you? Well, maybe, if it's, if the trade's worth it. What kind of information do you want? Do you consider yourself unbiased? You have to be. I have right? to be, exactly. I am at the center of everything. I am neither good, nor evil, nor order, nor chaos. I am everything and nothing all at once. I exist in and out of the stream of time and in and out of every existence that has ever existed. And are I you saw the birth of your world and I watched it crumble to dust. Are you... I love the watcher. Are you impacted by what's happening in the domain of dread that we're in? You're in, in a any domain way? of dread? Yeah. Well, not currently. Prior to walking through that door. And as soon as we walk out. I think the entity that lives in there would love to be able to affect me, but, well, everyone answers to someone, and even the Dreadmasters answer to me. Hmm. I am, like, yeah, I'm insanely uncomfortable with this. I've gone completely silent and just, like... That like, is the correct response. Like, I... <laughs> like... Like, from the start of him saying, you can have anything you ask for, Queen, like, he, Queen's just broken. Like, he he has spent his entire life, he has spent half his life chasing a person like this and the other half avoiding it. Like, <laughs> it's, I'm not well right now. Dang. Um, Zero will turn to the group and say... We have a neutral party that can give us information on our current circumstances. Yes. What do we need to know? Um, sorry, I was still hung up on the P thing, but this is a good opportunity. Um, the I suppose... That dude you made a deal with? Mm -hmm. Obvious uh, Spores. You know, weak points of the, of the Dukes. I see, uh, I see... I see it. Now I'm going to make a face and I go, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, well, what's that information worth to you? A way to erase corruption, perhaps. I think we, oh, decide, I... On, I think we decide on a topic we really care about. I definitely have the information on how to erase corruption. And I'll oh. give you that for free. Oh! Well, uh, yeah, I'll always take the free deal. Nothing's free. I'll take the free deal. No, no it's free. Nothing. The price will be the despair you get when you hear the answer. Sure, lay it on me. You can't. And the more you get, the less likely you are to get out of here. Okay, it's about what okay. I expected. Yeah, fair enough, but good to have confirmation. Par for the course. Okay, mm -hmm. um, what, what is the most pressing thing we know or need to know? Is that to the question? To survive. Mm, no, not yet. Hmm. And he just like leans back his head and he is very loudly snoring. <laughs> well, information that could directly assist us in destroying the Dukes would obviously be helpful. That's... Is that is that what we need to do? I, unless you know of some other way that we're going to get out of the domain of dread that I've not well, been told about, that seems to be the only lead we have. Well, so, well, so, far, so that so might be him. the question then. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm thinking, <laughs> let's not I, ask questions about the day to day. Let's ask questions about. I, I see the whole what you're picture. thinking. The thing is that we have to pay for these. And if we have to pay for him to tell us that that's the way to do it, we're, you know. That's going to have been a big waste, which is something we need to consider. Is I understand consider... where you're coming from, and believe me, killing people is not my go-to. Just in general. Not yet. He wakes back up just to say that. Fair enough. I can't really argue with you on that, because <laughs> nope. you would know, and I would, there's no, anyway. Um, so, uh, but you understand what I'm getting at. Yes, there's nothing saying we have to 
kill them, but part of the excitement is the journey. So I'd say don't ruin the journey. Did you read that on a greeting card? I did. Hmm. Well, I do did. I have to roll for panic attack? Oh, no, you are fully panicking. I'm having a panic attack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know some people here have already sacrificed something. It, and some of us have sacrificed something that we don't even know. They want to hedge the bets a little. I'll give you this information for free. Oh, I hate when you say free. No. This is a favor. You Zier, gave me something important. Everything is free for you. No, it isn't. No, it's not. I, I like to think that we said that in tandem. <laughs> yeah, and then he just looked at, he just looked at me and went, aw. <laughs> Man, I don't know what thievery is, do I? But Everything for a price. Actually, hmm. All cards on the table, and as he holds up his hand, like, cards just start falling out of his coat, like, for a ridiculous <laughs> amount of time. Oh, All cards I'm on the table. I'm I'll give you this for this free. Man. Every every god <laughs> in your universe is a perfect being. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> I worked hard on them, so... I... I... Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of cards on that table. He, he is actually starting to, like, lift off the ground as the cards are pooling underneath him. Oh, Can I put my arms down now and give you the information? This is yes, so many cards. More than, 50, more than 52. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, so he puts <laughs> his hands down. Um, you recognize on the floor that some of these are from a deck of many things, and you should See, definitely not let them touch you. That's what I was thinking was <laughs> happening, so I'm glad you confirmed. Um, so... The question is, does he have Post Malone's One Ring card? Uh, you can see that uh, up in the back, signed by Post Malone with a picture of him and Post Malone shaking hands. Um, oh, really good. But uh, what he says is, that. this is a little bit of information I'll give you for free. The Dukes are closer than you think. And while you don't necessarily have to kill them, it is the easiest way to get what you need. And just know, I've seen every timeline. There aren't many of them where all five of you make it out. <laughs> so be careful. The Domain of Dread Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Here we go. Boy, 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 boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? There is and I'll give you and... one last piece of information for free. Mm. Not all water extinguishes fire. Toodaloo! And you feel a like, oh. whole sensation on your chest as all of you are Wait. shunted out of this mm. building. Never mind. Oh. Fine. Um, all right, never mind. As he oh, feels thanks. your, except for Bosric, because he's going to reach out and grab Bosric. What? <laughs> well, no, if he's, if he's grabbing, if he's already pushing me out, let him push me out. I was gonna, I was gonna linger and have something as as we were going, but if he's pushing us out, he just pushed us out. I mean, you you feel shunted it's... out, but he shuts the door behind you. What do you want? He can tell that you you wanted to be here, so you won't get shunted out if you want to be here. Well, there's one thing I want to know, but I'm I'm afraid to ask, and I'm afraid of what it will cost me. Oh, don't deal in private. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you must not be worth much to you then. Is it true what what the vision showed me? Is it true that my sisters is in the in the hells? Do you want to look? <laughs> That's the price. I'll give you the answer if you find out yourself. I'll do it. Great! And he pokes your forehead and you are 
your vision is taken into um a pit of um fire and burning and blades and you can smell burning flesh and sort of like rotten meat and just all the terrible smells you can hear screams of pain and anguish unlike anything you've ever heard and in the center of the ring watching the flesh melt off of her hands and then grow back and melt off of her hands again you see your sister and as your vision returns to your body you have rogue hair now, basically. You have a strand of your hair that has gone stark white, and one of your eyes is gray. You still have vision out of it, but it is gray. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. I'll bow and I'll leave. The door shuts behind you, and as you hear the clunk, all of you turn around. There's nothing there. Hmm. But you do see that Bosric now has a white strand of hair, and one of his eyes is completely clouded over. What did you do? Did you make a did you make a deal after the I asked a question and I got an answer. I am laying stomach down on the ground. It's just it's nothing you don't already know. Turns out what what all the visions showed me were true. You LA is in hell. You saw what you weren't supposed to see. Are, are you I saw right? something I saw something that hurt to see, but I needed to see it. Hmm. Are, are you all right? No. But now I have a goal. <sighs> Zero's and, going. Oh, I'm sorry. Then you just kind of. <sighs> Zero's going to sit. Well, not quite sit, but kind of do like a little squat. Um, by Queden's head. You know, like touch, right? Honestly, right now, I might need it. Okay. Um, she's going to just lay on top of Queden. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, you're yeah, like, that your, happen. Face, your face down, like banging on the ground, and she's <laughs> just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's and really just, that's... and just dog pile on you essentially, and kind of provide the weight of her body. I mean, she's relatively small, but basically just provide almost like a she's weighted blanketing you. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna walk walk over and lean down next to Zier. Hey Zier, what are you doing? Providing support. What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're laying on a man. Yeah, it's what he needs. It's fine. Oh, okay. Quidin, do you need more people to lay on you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm okay, and I, I like I I pat the ground two times, like I'm ready for you to like a tag, like off. a wrestling yeah. tag, like a, out. Like yeah. a tag out. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'll roll off. And and as you're, I think as... I'll, I'll literally like roll, like I'm laying on you like this, and I'll literally just roll <laughs> onto the fall, ground I next to you. I follow, I follow your direction to be back to be laying on my back, looking okay. up. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to Queden, Queden. I'm checking if you're awake because I can I I see an outline. I don't see your eyeballs. <laughs> oh, Quaden. Yeah. Uh, in front of you, I'm gonna reach like behind my armor, kind of just off the back of uh, my plate, and I'm gonna pull out the um, the haft 
to the handle of my old hammer that I s mm -hmm. slagged before uh, we left my forge. And the top of it's kind of... The slags kind of came down in a way where it's it's stabbable. Um, I'm just going to turn it around <laughs> in my hand and just push it towards yours. It's up to you whether you take it or not. What are you... I'm sorry, what are you offering? So... He had his old hammer at the forge mm -hmm. um, when he made his new one. Mm -hmm. um, part of my ability is if I use a weapon that doesn't have my blessing, the heat that radiates through me melts the weapon to slag. Right. The What was left of the hammerhead has melted down to where it's like, kind of like you could use it to stab, like daggerish, um, but it's got my it. long hammer haft on it, and I'm offering that to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it, yeah. Like, and just looking in your direction, I'll say, thank you for what you did. I don't know what it was, but I appreciate it. A memory that I needed to get rid of a long time ago. And that being here helps me forget. The power in wherever the hell that was Forget the wolves. That was the scariest thing I've I've seen here. Sure, it won't be the scariest thing you see by the time we're done. Well, I've seen a lot. What's a little bit more? And that's I, a good I've attitude. Been, that's a I've good. Been, like attitude. fully on the ground this whole time. I like dust my legs off. Uh, and, and stand up, and I'll offer an arm to Zir to get up as well, if, if she'll take it. I'm gonna... I'll offer my flask around. Huh? Huh? Absolutely. Oh! <laughs> yeah, actually, Boss will have a drink, too. Yeah. I, yeah, I, no, I go sure. to reach yeah. for it, and 100%. I see Boss, and I'm like, no, him first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, 100%. I have more. I'll and I'll offer a second one. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking a sip <laughs> after that, please, Jesus Christ. Please so what are you... Are mm -hmm. we? Here's what I'm going to say. I think there have been a couple times where forces beyond us have said things, our names, our past, people that are important to us, to our faces, in front of us, and you yeah, did... secrets don't really exist here. Yeah, so do we want to go ahead and put those on the table with each other? Because so far they've all just been toying, poking poking at the fact that they know things. But in the future, these these secrets might truly be used against us, and it will be easier to combat that if we're all just forthcoming about it i don't have any secrets okay what do you want to uh, know well if you don't have anything then i guess nothing oh. i just think in this moment of camaraderie and passing drinks around and loosening up maybe now is a good time to get some stuff off our chests well, i mean i said it my sister died to the to this poor plague, and now I know she's in the hells, being punished for something that wasn't her fault. How do you how do you fix that? I don't know. I mean, I've heard that you can actually go to the hells if you have sort of magic to do stuff, but you, you know, then you're in the hells. What? What caused her to go there? You said it's not her fault? Evidently, fighting against a, an unwinnable plague for eight days wasn't battle enough for the for the ancestors of Bulgraf or Atros. Oh. Like she didn't 
die in an honorable way? It's not. Hmm. Or something sent her there. I think Zir's gonna look over her shoulder and be like, is that a thing we need to worry about? <laughs> I think I'm seeing if one of her siblings will respond. <laughs> um, you get the psychic impulse of a shrug. Okay. I mean, if, or if you want, I guess the only other thing I haven't really said that might come up is... I'm afraid of drowning. Hmm. That's why I've been so uh, twitchy whenever Grenos comes up. When I was uh, when I was five, I was swimming off the coast, and uh, something grabbed my leg and pulled me under. I still don't know what it was. If it was just I got my leg caught in some seaweed, or if there was some creature, or something. I only just pulled myself out, but. Mm. Ever since then. That's a... Yeah, that's mm. going to be a big one, because uh, we're definitely going to be in water at some point. Or near it, around it, under it. Yeah, I know. When we get there, Bosric, we'll all do our best to help you through. We can oh. put in floaties. Don't feel bad. I'm a rock. I'm just going to sink to the bottom. It sounds like in general we should just avoid big water involved. Eh, that's not an option as long as we've got Gredos to deal with. Um, Zira, I know uh, at first... You were, um, well, you were one of a few that were a bit alarmed, unnerved, off-put at, um, my eagerness initially to call you all friends. Um, mm -hmm. but it's, it's true, um, that even among literally all of the horrors and the terrors that we have been through over the last, uh, over long we have been here, uh, this is the most open and 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 comfortable I've been. I mean, just in terms of words per day. I mean, I I haven't spoken this much in a, in a very very long time. Um, because you, well, y'all do mean a, a great deal to me, and um, I've spent a lot of years in solitude. I, um, well, y'all are the people that I, you all are the people that I fight for now, but when I was very young, I, I, I had a person, um, someone I was very, very close to as a person who, well, has been difficult to make any friends at all. Um, that was a first for me then, and well, you guys are, in many ways, the first after him, but um, mm. we were very, very, very close, and I uh, spent a great deal of time with him. I helped him run away from his family, all, all, all of this very, very long, convoluted... I killed him. I had to kill him. He was he was going to kill me. And oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it was it was bad. It was a rough uh, situation. Um, like like anthropy, that was the element. Um, that's my whole thing oh. with the wolves. And um, I spent a very very long time going down many many very dark and disturbing paths trying to right that wrong and bring him back mm. Zarak has found me and saved me 
from that oh. very, very dark path. And every single bone in my body wanted to ask to see him again just now. But I knew that I couldn't because it is, well, why I gave that up is, is well, I, like I said, you all are, are I've, I feel like I, as I said, I, I have spent the devout half of my life, the god guy half of my life trying to um, right those wrongs that I committed, which were many, <laughs> um, while going down those paths. And I, it's not healthy to live in the past. And so giving that up was my way of hopefully looking towards the future and the future alone. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of bringing anything back from the dead. And I'm not a big fan of wolves. <clears throat> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank literally all of you. I mean, I know, you know, adventuring, you know, the, all in a day's work. But I, and I, I look mainly at Galnus when I say that. Um, but <laughs> I, uh, it's been a long time since anyone has looked at me and not seen the grave robber, the... Mm. the... the creepy guy who, you know, stands in the back of funerals and steals spells and, and things that I'm not very proud of. Um, but, as I said, Zarakis was my, uh, my savior in many ways, and yep. and I feel like I'm finally doing something good with the things that I have learned, with the magic that I have, with the... It seems like y'all's relationship is complicated. Me and Zarakis? Well, he is the wolf, I suppose. Mm. That's why um, it's that, might be, that, might, that might be what drew him to me in the first place. Um, but harnessing one's fears is a powerful internal magic in its own right. Uh, hmm. And um, yeah, I, 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 for a very long time and in many ways still in ways viewed my uh, serving under Zarakis very much as just punishment mm -hmm. um, for everything, you know, yeah, for the crimes I had committed. Um, but it doesn't have to be just punishment, right? I mean, hell, he led me here and he's taught me 
what is right and what is wrong between the boundaries of the living and the dead. And I have spent my day since trying to honor that boundary and, and do some do some kind of right. Um, so here we are. You're a good person. You know that, right? Uh, hard one you... for me to wrestle with. Okay. I. <laughs> you don't have to accept I... it. I just. No. I want you to know that someone thinks that of you. At least, at least one. Probably four. I'm uh, sure. Kind of glance to everyone else. Yeah. Clovis will take the flask because I think we've all been past one that we just ha are kind of nursing. I would like to get um, another. <laughs> he'll he'll take his and and to to Zier's sentiment, just raise it and <clears throat> give it a, a drink. It, it does turn out that uh, Galenus does have an overabundance of alcohol <laughs> on him at any given time. In so fact, if. Yeah, it's he's got kind like of a thing. Chewbacca's belt. Yeah, a flask, flask bandolier. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm <laughs> going to say. Yeah, about fair. Because of the specificity of what Galnus sacrificed, um, Galnus, you find that as much as this flask gets passed around, it never seems to go empty. You have been given a flask of infinite whiskey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're so back, baby. <laughs> um, but as this is happening, and you all are you know, making your kind sentiments, you hear a voice behind you go, <laughs> well, isn't this just fucking cute? Yes, and that's where we're going to go to our break. <laughs> Party, you heard the voice behind you saying what a cute fucking scene you were having. Turn around. I'll respond. Okay. Yeah, we're just a bunch of <laughs> chuckle sluts over here. Yeah. You are. Thankfully, you haven't annoyed me enough to be a threat yet. Is it just uh, Clovis, place? you turn around and you see sort of a tall, maybe like early teens young woman uh with the pointed elvish ears and the long brown hair in a white dress. Hmm. I'll offer the flask. Would you gonna <laughs> join us? You offer the flask? I'll hold it out. Wait, no. Yeah, you're, you, uh, I'll be like, nah, nah, nah. who is it? Don't just offer You can anything. see her. Issue with even, is there, even with the way even with the way that Galnus's eyes work, Galnus can perfectly see her. Mm. Mm. Which I Galnus think... knows what that means. Yeah. Well, everybody gets a moment reprieve. Mm. You just happen to walk in on it. Sorry, I didn't mean to offer your flask, Galnus. It just so it's sort of a ha habitual thing. Um well, there's a difference between offering a drink and offering a flask. Shut the fuck up! What are you jabbering about? Did you forget that you're here to die? You're just out here laying on the ground having huggy fun time. I should have sent the big ones to kill you. That would have been a lot more fun, but I should thank you. I mean, look at this new body. This wouldn't be possible while that blood-sucking bitch was alive. Congrats. Thanks. So we were here to die. <laughs> what did you think you were here for? I'd like to think we've been righting a few wrongs. I'm sure you would. Well, I would hope you would. You just said you have a new body thanks to our actions. Sure. But... That's all external validation. And who is it 
that we have the honor of speaking to? You know, I've quite forgotten what they used to call me. I suppose you can call me whatever you want. Hearing a lot of that lately. Um, I don't mean to be rude, friend, uh, but did you want something? Was there something that you were planning to tell us? We were having a sweet moment. I just like to check in from time to time. You're getting a little too complacent. I needed to remind you what exists here. What you're doing here. We're not what are we doing limit? here? And I'm going to take the well, flask back from Clovis and start drinking it. <laughs> you're killing my children, for one, which I'm... New body or not, I can't really allow that to keep happening. But think what about all the new bodies you could have. But you're also not threatening enough to kill yet. It's much more fun to watch you die over and over and over again. And if I do it, you'll just stop. Where's the fun in that? But read. Well, at least we agree on that. Well, what exactly, what would you have us do here? Die? It sounds like that. Mm -hmm. it, and but... keep doing it as many times as you can. So you want us to try to kill your children, but fail? For a while. And then you can succeed. And then you can move on to the next one. How do you benefit I'll replace from them. How do you benefit from your own children dying? Well, I don't really. Mostly I just get to watch you die over and over and over again. I don't benefit at all from my children dying. I want you to fight them so that you die. So that you see how hopeless your situation is. And that, what, brings you joy, brings you power? All of the above. Okay. All right. Um, well, we'll keep that in mind. Was there it's... sort of... At least you've got your entertainment lined up. Most people can't say that. I guess that's true. Let's have a little more entertainment, shall we? <laughs> and uh, she opens her hand and she blows out a puff of spores. I need everyone to make a constitution save. Oh boy! Is this a spell or magical effect? Yes. Oh, thank God it is. That's... Oh God, so much better. Remember, you guys got a plus nine, uh, plus five, uh, plus, uh, plus five on your uh, saves. Uh -huh. oh. Plus five. Yay! I will use my indomitable to reroll it. Okay. He won. So plus five in addition to our modifier? Mm -hmm. Yes. This feels like something to use my inspiration on just to try and get as high as I can. Okay. Still just an 18. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Um, That's a 26. Okay. Con? Con. 29. Okay. 23. Okay. Um... Zir, Clovis, and Bosric, you cough a bit, but um, these spores don't seem to affect you. Quedon and Gelnus? Die. No. <laughs> Far worse than that. You are filled with murderous rage, and it will not be sated until these other three people are in the ground and then yourself. Everybody oh. roll initiative. My favorite thing in the world, player versus <laughs> player combat. Uh, 17. Oh, fuck. That's right. What are you? So, I'm so actually literally scared right now. <laughs> I'll be okay. So I got 22 for Boz, 17 for Galnus? Yes. Uh, 12. Maybe that's right. my first high initiative roll of maybe this campaign. That's a, 
That's a 19? Yeah. 19 for Quedon. Oh, uh, bad you, news, bears. You would roll high on this. I, I really would. I, I will warn uh, the group. Uh, upon me going into this rage, um, you'd feel that aura that of mind that envelops you, giving you a bonus to your um, saves uh, fade. Hmm. As I no longer see you as allies. Good point. Do Quedon and Galnus still see each other as allies? No. Or are they also hostile? And then it would be, yeah. So uh, no one would benefit from oh. my... Uh... Um, Quedon are we Galnus, in a murderous also... rage? Like we're not thinking, we're just swinging? Or are we... One yes. Them. Yeah. Am, am I being strategic in the way that I am fighting, or am I just blindly swinging whatever you are I have on? Blindly me? swinging. So it's feeble, uh, okay. but okay. with. But I was, with, I was uh, really going to be. I, I was really looking at my spells. I was kind of excited. Um, for a moment. No, through the rage, though, Quedon and Galnus, you feel an itch on your left hand. Please add a point of corruption to your character sheets. Why? <laughs> Where do we add that on these character sheets? I uh, just put it in notes. Now everybody's got one but Clovis, and I'll get you in a minute, buddy. I'm adding it, I'm adding it under enemies. <laughs> Damn. And we didn't even get to get it through something uh, awesome. Okay, so I'm swinging. I think this is pretty cool. You got it from the lady herself. I fell. Oh, cool. I fell. That's true. <laughs> yeah, Zir, Zir ain't shit. Yeah, but you <laughs> had an awesome shit. moment in that. That's Ours how we is got just... the first Fuck corruption you, you point, was by Zir opening a door and going, oopsie. I, I, I did a fucking acme. Yeah, I <laughs> taught Tom, Tom and Jerry <laughs> ass that. Even... And the woman really lays on that mind by having That's fun. I said a fun way. That's heart. fun. God, All it's right. all so hard that Max locked you in a vault forever, never to be seen. Yep. <laughs> Is there a map, or are we just uh, on top of each other here? Uh, you're you're pretty close to each other. You're within ten feet of one another. There's no need for there's no need for a map because well, you'll find out. Oh, hmm. So I'm blindly swinging in melee. Mm -hmm. No spells. Yep. And top of the lineup is Bosric. Understood. You don't uh, know that they're uh, aggressive. Well, the but but I felt the aura fade, right? Yes. So I'm going to actively look at them and try and suss out, like, what's going on. Okay. Would that be, uh, insight? Yes. <laughs> Nat one, I know nothing about what's going on. Nice. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Yeah, I guess, I guess, to that regard, I would have my shield, I do not have my sword drawn. As of yet. Take a dodge, baby. I'll just brace. I'll brace. Okay, I will presume that something hostile is coming. Have my hand on my sword, brace with my shield. But other than that, I don't know where it's coming from or what it's or what's going on. Okay, then I'm going to assume your shield is pointed towards her. Well, it's. it's I'm just kind of. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I, I don't have. I don't have. I'm, I'm looking all around. They can okay. still kind of like. I, I still, I don't know it's them yet, but I know something's coming from somewhere. Yeah. Quaden, you're up. All right, can we, since it's the object I would literally be holding, can we, what are the stats on this shiv that uh, Galnus just gave me? Is it a dagger or what do we? It's a dagger. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, well, it's the haft of a hammer with a dagger at the end of it. So we'll call that, um, we'll call it a short sword. We'll say it does short sword damage. Hell yeah, brother. So it's a D6. Okay. Great. Um, it's a finesse weapon. <laughs> it is also right. a finesse who's, weapon. Who's closest to me? Probably Clovis. He was on top of you. That's so true. Um, well, I would be standing right next to Zir, wouldn't I? It would probably, probably. It would be Zir and I, probably on. <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine yeah, we did a we did a circle sort of sit so, around. So I'm I think going to say because of information I know from outside of this, and because she wants to fuck with you, you are inclined to attack Clovis. I don't know what that means. Okay. I yes, also do. don't know what that means. I mean, yes, I do, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, okay. Um, 
My that's a fifteen to hit. Does not hit. Okay. I swing. Swing. <laughs> and I miss. Um Okay. I think my shield just happens to be in the right spot, and you're like, oh! Hey, what the fuck? Oh, wait, no, I'm dead. You all are my friends, and I'm making up for for doing a horrible deed to my previous friend. Oh, no, I have to kill you all now. That's not going to be Oh, my God! Oh, my God! That's not going to be a horrible... It's also definitely, it is definitely not a death thing. You are growling and feral. I killed my last friend. Oh no! Um, you yeah. are become the werewolf! The werewolf. Galnus, do me a favor, um, because it's not affecting you in the same really? way you are next. You are equidistant from everyone, so roll a d6. On a 1 or a 2, it's Zir. On a 3 or a 4, it's Bosric. On a 5 or a 6, it's Clovis. I was like, well, it's a two. <laughs> All right, then you're going for Zier. All right. Um, Ooh, you were really pissed at her. I uh, uh, yeah. Oh man, I I would like to apologize to the player uh, beforehand. I, I really feel like I I should. Um, so I'm gonna just snarl and move up and just start to swing right at Zier. Um. That's going to be a 13 plus um, 11. So a 24. 24. Is there? That hitch is here? I don't think there's any universe where that doesn't hit all of you except Galdus. <laughs> it does hit me. I mean, except. And that. then a 17 plus 11, which I'm going to assume also hits because I'm going to go. Low and then high, because I have to hit you low in order to be able to hit you high. Um, I, I am snarling pretty bad because uh, I've got some issues at the moment, um, both uh, because of the spores and not. So this is why I apologized. Is um, I'll be dropping a uh, second level spell slot into smite. Do I have to declare what I'm uncanny dodging? How does how does uh, just happen? pick an attack and say once the damage has been dealt, you say I'm uncanny dodging that. Okay, so I've already taken. Okay, so what what's happened to me so far? You're uh, taking damage in a second level smite. I'm a well, I'm I'm dropping two. And this is the first. <laughs> I'm this dropping is the first, two. This is the first swing. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're so on he the first can still okay. smite. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So I you can, can declare... do everything. You just don't have to. I'm not doing. I... I'm not doing everything I could. Trust me. So I can declare uncanny dodge after the damage. After the damage is rolled, yes. Wait. Okay. Okay. Um, so the first one's going to be a uh, six plus seven, so that's thirteen. And then I can let me roll for the uh, the level two, so that's going to be three, three d eight. If I'm correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we were at 13. Not bad. We're at we're at 13. We're at 15. Okay. We're at 20. We're at 26 damage okay. on that one. And then the second one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take that. <laughs> okay. You you're gonna take that one? Okay. So let me let me roll the next ones here. So Are you smiting there as well? Uh yeah, I'm smiting on that one as well. Um, so let me go here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna roll the. Uh, there we go. It's that's four plus seven, so eleven. And then I'm gonna do twelve. Wow, fourteen. Fifteen. That one's the fifteen. <laughs> yeah. So that's the take... one you're 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 acrobating the second one. Or are you taking it? I'm taking both. You're taking both. All right, Zir, you are up next. I... I'm going to put my hands 
on Galnus. I, I imagine as he's whacking me, because I don't think the combat all happens at the same time. So just as he's just fucking destroying me, <laughs> I'm, Sorry. Going to, I'm going to place my hands on his, just wherever on his body I can I can get hold while he's actively thrashing me. Um, so probably like, I don't know, around waist or something. Um, and I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to shake my head and I'm going to do... Um, lay on hands. I'm going to use two hit points of lay on hands. I know he's not technically injured, but my brain said I was, I was poisoned and it helped me. If I try to heal, maybe it'll help the spores come out kind of thing. Okay. So I will say, because you had a conversation with Aragoki, you know that you can use five lay on hands points to end a condition. Okay. So you do need to use more than two, but if you I, say I'm using five to end a condition. I will do that. All right. Uh, Galnus, you may repeat your constitution save. Oh, right. Or five HP to either cure disease or neutralize a poison. Yes. I see that now. Beats, beats. Yeah, I look, I look up at you, and I'm like, I got like a tooth knocked out. Like, oh, that fucking sucked. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, that's it for. Well, so lay on hands is action. Mm -hmm. Um. Ah, oh, one sec. I could cunning action. <laughs> I'm gonna move towards Queen. Okay. I don't, I don't need to disengage because no, because it's now a I'm friendly creature. Hostile, so okay. All Great. right, uh, Galus, what was your question? Yes. Um, it would need to come back to your turn before you can buff that aura out again. Uh, Clovis, you're up. Um, I, so Zir has done something to Galnus, and he doesn't seem to be actively attacking. And so I think as Zir approaches- to your, to your perspective, I gave him a hug while getting the shit bashed out of me. And you <laughs> saw, I have vines on my horns now? Mm -hmm. Question mark, I have vines and divots on my horns? No, the divots were where the vines were gonna grow into. So oh, yes. Um, Once you made the pact. I think you see a glow, like a green glow from her horns, and that's an indication that some kind of magical thing happened. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a hug. Yeah. Uh, so I think Clovis is sort of still recoiling from Queden's attack, but settling into a defensive stance. Uh, is going to shoot an eye over at Zira as she approaches and say, Magic or poison? Poison. Uh, and then I'm going to, like feign that I'm backing up into a defense, and then I'm just going to reach my hand forward and try and grab Queden's face as I cast Lesser Restoration. Okay. Um, Queden, you snarl in the direction of Clovis as you get just a big half-elf hand on your face. Uh, go ahead and roll well, that well, so it, the, uh Oh, well, yeah, he still has to roll the, the concept. Yeah. Uh, spend that. It's a 13, baby. Okay. Um, even with, with lesser restoration, it's not strong enough to just push it out because mm. of the nature of this. Okay. Uh, so, like, you can feel it take hold of the poison, but then the poison fights back. Got it. 
uh, Quedon, in your head, uh, you would hear that voice that is part Clovis, part Stendar, uh, that would say, Thou shalt not bear arms against thy neighbor. This is law in my city. Uh, I say. But it... <laughs> Uh, and then as it as it doesn't take purchase, Clovis will reach back uh, and get back into his defensive stance uh, and shoot to the rest of the party. Didn't work, but I felt it do something. Um, okay, so we go back to the top of the lineup, which is actually the, the entity, we'll call mm. her. <laughs> I was and... like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> And as she's just cackling and clapping, and she just seems like she's having the time of her life, all of you hear a thunderous <laughs> as a chunk of her face goes flying off, and she goes, boring, <laughs> and vanishes into spores. Queden, you feel the effect end on yourself as you look to the pub, which is not too far away from you. And you see, standing there, looking down the barrel of her rifle, is Lady Thane. Love her so much. <laughs> Hell yeah. It was only ever going to be one turn, guys. Sorry for freaking you out. <laughs> no, no. I figured, I figured it wouldn't last too long. <laughs> it, it, you know what it was last time? It was like the decision being put into my hands that freaked mm. me out so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A butt touch. A, a good amount. <laughs> like I think it was like 41. Yep. God damn. Damn. And big also fixes healing. the crack in her horn. <laughs> Hell yeah. Some big healing. We have no memory of what we did while we were under? You know absolutely what you did while you were under. You were fully conscious. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I look at Clovis, I say, I didn't, I, I didn't mean to, you know how much you, right, I, I'm so, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, I put a hand on your shoulder, um, cast... Uh, what, what's the most thematic spell I have for this? Um, I, I cast Beacon of Hope, which I don't need to do, but Clovis does it anyway to fill you with good feeling. Uh, he puts a hand on your shoulder, gives a gentle squeeze. I know. Okay, um, I suppose, I mean, do we ought to thank Lady Thane, or? Yeah, um, Galnus, there's still alcohol in that flask, right? Oh, fantastic. Excellent, because I think I need a lot more of it right now. Yeah, you know what it, <laughs> oh my god. We've been through a lot today, friends. Zeer's Zeer's gonna look to Galnus um, now that they're now that other people are kind of starting to walk towards the tavern and just so we're square we're squarer okay 
And she just smiles and walks ahead. I forgot that freak is with us. <laughs> that freak is what he said? Um, the goat doesn't say anything, just walks you inside. Oz lingers for a moment, and he looks at the spot where the entity was. And he just says, Enjoy the show. And he leaves. Okay. Um. Yeah, on our way, but on our way, walking back, just want to like do like specifically pull, um, pull zero aside and just like whisper something if I can. Uh, just like yeah. Um. Thanks for for that for everything for. Um, letting me open up you're really cool um and you know super impressive and stuff um if 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 you ever need to open up i know we we didn't we didn't get to you before i'm here for you if you need anybody else friends and she'll hold her hand out to you friends and she shakes. Can he Great. see us too, Zier? Or do you still want us to stay hidden? He seems cool. A little weird. Mm -hmm. He does. I do see. You can come out. She'll say. So um, and as, after, you're... as we shake yeah. hands, you'll see. Oh, oh, I love that we were on the same page. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> as we shake hands, you kind of hear me mutter something over my shoulder, and then uh -huh. you see three kind of ghostly appearances. So a, a, a refresh on what they look like: um, a tiefling, um, a centaur, and a minotaur all join in on the handshake. They like clasp, so like we're handshaking, and then there's like another hand, and then another hand. Mm -hmm. Hannah, um, I would assume. I mean, with my his, with my b background, I know that these are these must be ghosts of some kind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Great. Um, they all. So they all can I just after saying friends? Can I just similar to mine? Can I look up? You see my eyes widen for a second, turn into recognition. Um, meet you with like a half smile and I repeat although this time in a question friends? friends of deaths are friends of ours says the tiefling Best just friends. keep it that way and he, the tiefling smiles a little bit maliciously and the minotaur kind of yeah. elbows I, <laughs> I, 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 just, <laughs> I I put another hand on I, I put another hand on the uh, on the pile before uh, before letting go and and just taking that hand and putting it on my heart. Yeah. And then the ghosts vanish. I don't. I just realized I was muted. Nobody even knows half of what happened. No, I, I heard what you oh, said. We, we no, no, that. in the stream, I'm muted. Oh, uh, I, I hit a button and it muted me for I don't know how long. Oh, no. Um, could have been the entire time. Who knows? Oh, um, no. you know what? I'm not sad. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the same time that's happening, I'm gonna uh, walk in and um, I'll tell the goat since everybody seemed excited about the goat. Um. Uh, go go make sure they're okay. They're very excited about your presence. And I'm going to walk to a um, probably that small cask room that was shot up before. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to um, since I have the uh, that, ac the, uh, that armor, I'm going to 
clatter it off of me, and then I'm just going to sit in the corner and just drink. I am just going to go nuts with my drinking. And All I'm not right. taking it off ceremoniously. Like, I'm literally just and letting just it fall. Just slumping it off, yeah. I got you. Okay. Um, Lady Thane doesn't say anything to any of you. She's just kind of cleaning the rifle. She she gets the feeling that words are not necessary here. Well, she clearly hasn't met me because I'm going to walk over to her and start talking to her immediately. Um, <clears throat> you, she seemed actually somewhat bothered by your appearance. That thing, person, little girl. No, she, uh, she is something that it takes a certain kind of weapon to kill. When she shows up here, at least. She doesn't show up here often for that reason. She's weak further from the source. Hmm. What, uh, kind of weapon would that be? Blessed steel. And she, uh, opens up her... Um... her like her jacket and shows like a bandolier of bullets that are kind of giving off a, a glow mm. Hmm. i can feel the energy from here did you bless those the is <laughs> do you think that's something he or i could do i mean Really, I think, considering your connection to the different entities you're connected to, any of you could do it except Bosric. Hmm. Okay. And I suppose it's not too late for Bosric to find a god of his own. Hmm. We'll get him eventually. <laughs> um. um. She sort of looks over her shoulder and, like, makes, like, momentary, like, eyes lingering a little too long on Galnus before she looks back at you. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the source. That is what, the, the, the heart of this place? The Whatever this place was built to contain. Mm. You spoke of it as if there was a physical location. Is that somewhere that we should know about? No. You shouldn't. <clears throat> if she kills you, you don't come back. And I you can't go to their afterlife from here. I understand. I, I don't mean to find out in order for us to go there. I mean to find out because you said the closer we get to it, the stronger she will be. That would be a good thing to know to stay away from. Or at the very least, to expect her to be more powerful. Stay above ground. Okay. And see to your friend. Mm. He's been here much longer than either of you, and I think this shook him a little too much. The minute she actually says that, because Boz has been listening to this and kind of looking at the blessed stuff, but the minute she says, see to your friend, he actually goes to Galnus and kind of crouches down by him and... I'm not going to ask you if you're doing all right, because I know you're not. How Are long you? do you need? Ah, uh, no. No, certainly not. But how long do you need? I'll be ready or, as soon as needed. Or would it serve you to have a project? Would it, would it help you? My work is my life. Boz pulls out all the pieces of his broken sword. According to Lady Thane, bless steel hurts that thing. And I know she said we shouldn't confront it, but sooner or later we'll have to. 
quite frankly, I wouldn't mind a weapon that I could use against it. I don't know how to make magic items, magic weapons, magic armor. I don't, don't know how. Well, she didn't say magic. She said blessed. Uh, I think at this moment, Clovis will just sort of appear out of <laughs> Bosric's silhouette. <laughs> Mind if we try and figure that out, actually? I think um, hmm? with a bit of trial and error, I might be able to figure out how to do that. I'll, of course, still need you to do the forging yes. part. It's it's, it's Good still to be holding needed. pieces of a he's holding he's holding pieces of a sword. So mm -hmm. that that can't be fixed. Well, I figured not. I figured you'd have to melt it down, and I'd have to I'd have to fold it in on itself uh, many times over, break out any imperfections and purities. That have been picked up along the way. It should. It's Elven Forge Steel. It's pretty good. No, it's not yet. It's not. You would know, Bosric, Adamantari um, sword making, once broken, does have to be reforged the way that Galnus is talking about. Like, it's not just a simple, like, put it in, crucible, do it. Um, the way the steel is made, the specific steel that they use, it has to be folded. Got it. Well, if it's possible. I need a forge. You have a forge, darling. Just give us somewhere to sit. I don't have anywhere for my friends to sit. I need a workspace. But you think that Popping up maybe the tower could make a forge if he needs one. You also know that there is a blacksmith in town. Mm -hmm. There is a blacksmith here, though if we can figure out a more mobile setup, this might be a good time to try and see what the, exactly that would require. I'm not sure if the tower can just have a forge if we need it to have a forge, but we may be able to come up with some sort of system to get one going in there once we put it up. I'll be ready for whatever task is required of me as soon as the task presents itself. I don't mean to um, eavesdrop, but do you still have any of the uh, gold or orum you were going to trade to us? I think we still have all of the orum, because we didn't trade it. Uh, I traded a little bit for the the first vial, um, I thought. Or is that what I traded the moment of my time? For? I think that's what you traded. I think that was that your was moment of time. Was for, yeah. yeah, the Aurum, okay. I think we still have all. We, we still, have, have, we still have all of it. All Aurum is still um, accounted mm -hmm. for. Yeah, um, I've got sort of, hold on, I put my shield down, get my backpack. Um, this much? All right, give it to me and give me a day. Cool. Um, you have a day. Modifying already created magic items is difficult, but I've been alive a very long time. You pick up some things. She gives uh, Galnus a wink and then uh, takes all the stuff. And um, you see she keeps like about a pound of orum to the side with the statue and then takes the other 24 pounds of it and just puts it into a bag of holding. All right, that'll be my payment. This is what I will work on. In a day, you'll have a mobile forge attached to your tower. You wow. have... I love it here. Do you do you have a forge I could use now? Dombrick! Oi! Can the dwarf use our forge? No, I suppose. Dombrick says you can use his forge. I'll get up and uh, check I'll take my apron which would have came off with the armor put my apron back on leaving the armor where it is pick up my hammer and start heading towards the forge okay um you are sort of intercepted by a massive dude and he says Roy I'll show you where it is um you assume this is Dondrick um he is a very large uh, Goliath, and he 
takes you out to a, a bit run down because everything here is that isn't, you know, protected in magical circles. Um, but it's a passable forge. And I'll reach my hand towards the lantern. Allowing the, uh, the entities within to gather. Mm -hmm. And then use the produce flame to push to, to basically act as their travel to the uh, the working forge. All right. Uh, Don Trick just kind of nods. They trick that. Thank you. I have a few. Um, I need someone to work the bellows. I mean, I kind of figured that's what I was here for. I was just wanted to make sure I asked. I don't expect anything of anyone. You're a good soul. Get, get on this. What was it? Iron sight. Iron sight? Oh, because of the, uh... The blindness. Yeah, yes. anyway. Um... Well, I've heard about, about you, and... I'm sorry I wasn't here to go to battle with you and your friends, but, uh... He extends a hand to you. It's good to meet you now. Oh. I'll return to uh, the shake, uh, doing the old... Mm -hmm. risk yeah, the, risk, that's uh, what he wanted. Yeah. And uh, do that and go, I'm glad you didn't, and uh, be one less person that I'd have to mourn. Well, I don't expect you to be friends with me right off the bat. I mean, we did just meet, but it's nice to have a colleague for once. Working this forge by myself is bloody boring. Well, maybe we'll learn something from one another. <laughs> You've been here long? Maybe we will at that. Uh, about, oh, Tom moves so strangely in the hamlet, I think about uh, a century and a half. Now, I've been doing this for almost 250 years. Well, I mean... And I just tightened my grip on the uh, haft of my <laughs> hammer. I was 50 summers old before I came in here, so... You got about 50 on me, but... Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> and I'll start, um, um, if allowed, I'll use my heat metal, um, and, but I'll just trace it down the side as I'm using it to weld the broken pieces together. Okay. And then push them into the flame. Uh, and he's working the bellows and he's very competent as a blacksmith. You can tell that he doesn't have any magical or divine connection at all. He's just a guy. But he is very good at what he does. And uh, I'll just be out there working on the, uh, the sword. Um, yeah. Just kind of, <laughs> weirdly, It's I'm almost fugued at this point. I'm just mm -hmm. doing what I know. Now that I've gotten him up and running, because I didn't want to just leave him, dream, but Boz does actually turn to Clovis again. All right, well, I gave him something to... to get him running can you actually do some i'm not as good with fit with uh emotions and such as you so can you have a word with him uh he'll give you a, a little like uh friendly clap on the shoulder uh and say i'm gonna give him a little bit of time with uh someone who knows what the fuck it is he's doing first uh so he can just sort of you know yeah. process on his own for a bit but yeah i'll i'll go out there with him in a minute good because he's still he's still A reminder, my armor is still at your feet and my shield. I will actually pick them up and kind of put them in kind of a makeshift yeah. kind of ready spot. I think, I think Clovis That's... will help with that. Just sort of putting them up, laying them neatly on like the table. <clears throat> okay. Um... Cool. So I'm sorry. I went to space for a second. You're moving the armor and you're putting it up on the table. Yeah, just to yeah. make sure it's organized. It's not like lying in a heap. It's you know kind of making sure it's all. Yeah, I thought that's what you had said, but I didn't know if there was a follow up. So I was just like, oh, okay. Well, I'm just, <laughs> I, I wanted to see if anyone else had anything to do. Is your yeah, food? Is your hungry? Food is provided. Excellent. Zero we did anything, anything for you. 
Is your mission complete? <laughs> mission accomplished. I think, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of like, I don't know, a crazy amount of shit happened, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied as well. Um, right, yeah, I just. We can I just silently a, eat together. I, yeah, I need to sit and just silently eat together. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, then is there anything else that Clovis or Pazric wanted to do? Or Galnus, for that matter. I figure Galnus is, like you said, fuguing and making a sword. Oh, I have 100% focus on what I'm doing. I am pouring every bit of frustration, anger, uh, anxiety, depression, everything I'm feeling right now into making this blade. And bonding with this giant bald man to 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 a degree <laughs> yes but i'm yeah. kind of dealing with some shit no he he understands that's why he was just like hey let's work on a sword together he gets it i love the wisdom of, of artisans mm -hmm. um i think clovis might like pop in and ask uh Lady Thane some questions about like how to start the blessing process, but I don't know that that necessarily needs to be a scene. And then after that, he would, the next thing that he would do, which might not happen right away, is go to work with Galmus and, and try and bless the sword. Okay. I will say the, uh, while I am working on it, I am praying, not so much praying, it's not his thing, but he's internally talking to his friends because he knows that they can talk through his head. And he's basically saying that I don't know where this blade came from or what its history is, but every time it strikes, I want whoever it hits to know who worked on this blade. And it's not just me. It's my friends, the two of you, and hopefully still friends inside. I don't think you have anything to worry about. They've been through much more, much worse than this. They certainly have, and I don't think they blame you for a lapse in judgment caused by overripe mushrooms. <laughs> I think I almost killed the child. I think the child was much more resilient than you gave her credit for, and I mean that in every way. And she's a she's a Seltradot, though. No, she isn't. You need to let that go. I did a little. I, I know understand I can hold your a grudge. hesitancy. I, I know you can hold a grudge. You hold a grudge better than our forge holds a flame, Galnus. She didn't kill them, though. You know that. Yeah, I know. Is it bad I want to kill her again? Not the child. I know who you mean. And I'll say, as I'm doing that, I will burn a level three spell slot to keep the metal hot while I'm working on it. Okay. And that's my rage. That's my rage in me pushing that power into it. Um, as you do, you notice a fault in the sword, like a weak point in the metal where you can see there was a crack in the uh, tempering process. And um, Adivar says, Vengeance is like an imperfection in your blade, Galnus. It's hidden, and it's deep. And over time, it will break you. I understand your rage. But you cannot be a blade with imperfections if you want to protect your new friends. Good thing I'm not a blade, I'm a hammer. Eventually, I'll get the imperfection out, but those cracks can run a lot deeper in a hammer than a blade. When you say that, your next hit, you hear it, and your hammer has a crack on the very front of it, and he says, all the same. And then you see, um, and you can kind of tell that you're the only one who can see it, a hand reaches forward and touches your hammer, and all of the cracks disappear. You have to stop doing this alone, Galnus. We're here. They're here. This is the second time you've tried to kill Zir. She hasn't abandoned you yet. 
Maybe give her a little bit of credit. I'm working on it. I am working on it. I'm just I know. old and slow to change. I was reforged once. I'll be reforged again. But we both know that the process takes time. Oh, I don't mean to be rude, I'd say, but who in blazes are you talking to? Um, as I turn to him, I'll, I'll use the, uh, produce flame, but I'll use it more for effect to have my eyes look like there's flames in them. And I'll say the forge and the fire where all imperfections go to be removed. Very well then. Well, it's some time. I think, I think if Adifar had anything he needed to say to me, he would. He knows I'm devoted. And he, uh, he taps his arm and you can see, he, um, sort of, like you can see the vague outline of him, but because he's this close, you can see there is a tattoo of the symbol of Adifar on his arm. I don't really have much time for the gods. But you'll always have time for a friend. I'll give it a try. And I'll continue working the uh, the blade until it's completed. All right. It's going to take some time. I mean, it's probably going to take more than a day yeah. to do this. Yeah. Does anybody else have any interaction they want to do? Um, well... Since Boz has seen to, uh, you know, he's sent the the good talker at some point to go talk to um, Galnus. He is actually going to check on um, he's he's going to check on on Quedon too, and he's going to. How are you holding up? Oh, um. Well, I think. Really, I mean, that was a fright, being, you know, violently forced to attack all of you. But, well, if there is ever a time to be violently possessed into attacking your friends, immediately after saying <coughs> your friends mean a great deal to you and... and are you know the whole reason why you're so happy and i suppose that would be the best time for that to happen so uh, <laughs> i could be i i'm holding up okay i'm okay anything you need anything i can do pause you have done so much. From day one, you have done so much for me. I really am. I'm, for the first day in a long time, I'm, 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 I'm doing well. Thank you. Just let me know. I will. This can wear on you. Yeah, that is, um, that's, that's putting it mildly. But... In the face of literally all the worst horrors known to man and not to man, um, I've got a drink, and I've got good food, and I've got friends. You know, I had a, had a this this could just be whimsy or whatnot, but I had a thought about. You have a fear of uh, of werewolves. Yeah. I don't know much about werewolves, but aren't they? Isn't it a curse? 
in a way, yes. It... And it just makes you violent and terrible? It's transformation, yes. It... Um... What are you asking? They said a werewolf. Is violent and terrible, but wolves, real natural wolves. I've been do I've done a lot of uh, patrol runs along the edges of uh, Twilight, and I've seen a couple wolf packs. And wolves are just that; they're a pack. They take care of their own. They work together. And maybe that's that can help you find. Peace with Zarakis. Zarakis isn't a violent, cursed werewolf. He's the wolf that found you and made you part of his pack. I think a lot of my initial issues with serving Zarakis were... I think it was more personal shame than anything, and of what that form represented. So, I never found him evil or, or violent, of, of course not. I, I live to serve him now. Um, but I was challenged by him greatly um, for a very, very long time. And I still am, but I, I see that, well, his chosen form is, is like I said before, per perhaps, perhaps there's some twisted and yet healing reason why he chose me of anyone. But it can be part of the process of moving on. <laughs> Thank you for that. I, I suppose you are all my proverbial wolf pack, as it were. I was actually moving to get to that point. <laughs> <laughs> or something, something to that, yeah. Pride of Lions, Conspiracy of <laughs> Ravens. Pa uh, I think we might be mixing our metaphors there. No, any, any collective noun of animals. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we've got a bunch. We've got... We've got the deer, we've got the ram, we've got the turtle. The tortoise. A yeah. Congress of meerkats, that's what you are. <laughs> um, I don't know what tomorrow will bring, but I'm glad to see us here today. And raise a little glass. I've got one, but I'll just yeah. <laughs> so checked on him. Also going to check and, in with Zira. And, and I, I do. And I, before you say it, and um, uh, at, yeah, I'll like reach out and like grab your wrist, which is kind of uncharacteristic for Quinn. Um, mm -hmm. And thank you too for no. Sharing one's past is never easy, especially reiterating one's past. But it's the only way through. In many ways. I'll kind of sneak my hand around and kind of give, give your hand a squeeze. I like squeeze it and then like as I let yeah. go, I still kind of like yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So then, uh, finally, and then Boz goes to check on Zira. Was... Probably Zira's, at the same table. Zira is sitting across from Queen and is just <laughs> quietly eating with her yeah. face down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah exactly. Like... Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, how are you old enough to take about it? I think she's just been like absently chatting with her siblings. Um. Oh. Um. Fine. You got your uh, siblings roundabout. 
I'm guessing you were talking under your breath. Sorry? I was asking oh, if you uh -huh. siblings right about. Ah. Yeah, typically they are. Cool. I'm navigating that. It was a hell of a good move out there. You kept mm -hmm. your head, you use the right the right move and you had Galnus free in, in a moment. Huh? Takes one to know one kind of thing. I know it helped me, so I figured it'd help him. Good instincts. Thanks. Sorry you, um... Sorry. I don't... I, I think it's really impressive that you're going around and checking on everyone after you went through one of the worst of all of us today. Well, I can't do anything about it, so I guess the least I can do is make sure you're all right. It's a good way of looking at it. Well, thanks. I'm I'm sure Thank there's you. something. I'm sure there's something. I mean, I don't necessarily want to give false hope, but no, it doesn't seem right. I'll be able to do something. Well, we'll, we'll help you when the time comes. Appreciate that. Probably need all the help I can get for what I want to do. And he just kind of pats your shoulder, goes off, kind of leans against a wall, pulls um, the scabbard with uh, a fang breaker in it, just kind of flicks the blade out in, and just because because of the nature of the Tengu and Garashi that he knows of, he's just envisioning the day that he finally gets to make an offering of that thing to Garashi. Okay. After after Boz walks away, Zir's gonna <laughs> lean. Zir's gonna lean to Queen and be like, "I'm finding I have very paddable shoulders." <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, like, the go, that's the go-to comfort, it seems. <laughs> and she just laughs. That's just that's not that's honestly a, a familiar vigil thing. It's people. Yeah, pat each other's shoulders on the. On oh the no, face. I know. It's just it's just funny <laughs> if multiple people have done it at this point to Zir. Like almost anytime someone talks comfortingly to Zir, they go, "They're there, <laughs> you child, you." <laughs> <I'm for it. laughs> yeah, I know. It's, Clovis, it's I think at this point you would have made your way out to Gelnus if you're going to. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, what's the what's the scene like when I get there? Um, just two bros being bros. Two bros sitting in a hot room five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I think Clovis mm -hmm. walks into the room fully ready to be like upbeat and jovial and then pauses and goes, Is smithing a quiet activity? What bloody hell do you think? I don't know. That's but why I'm asking. Get in here, you weirdo. Okay, I just didn't, I didn't know if this was something people did and they had to be quiet the whole time or else it'd mess with their concentration. I like to talk. Oh, I, I think we've met. Priest. My name is Clovis. I'll stop hammering and be like, of course it's not quiet. I'm making all kinds of noise. Um, Dondrick uh, kind of looks you over and then he gives you a smile and he grabs your wrist. Dondrick Iron Belly, at your service. Clovis Alworth, at yours. Righto. Galnus was telling me I uh, need to try talking to the gods. 
You're a priest. Maybe you could help me get in touch with one. Indeed I am, and indeed I can. All right, then. I've been pretty partial to out of all myself being a, you know, smith, but yeah, I was a fighter once. Makes sense. Uh, Bullcraft, nice. A Charles, maybe. Nice tattoo, by the way. No, um, thank you. I did it myself. Yeah. And it's actually, like, oh. really nice. Wow, yeah, uh, that's impressive. I mean, you you're a craftsman, so I wouldn't expect any less, but you, mm -hmm, maybe. I'll All talk right. to you about that at a later date. All right. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I mean, uh, you're a warrior, so if, if you'd like to identify with warrior gods, that, of course, is acceptable. Obviously, you've got uh, Adivar tattooed on your arm as well. You can worship as many or as few of the gods as you like. All of them, well... Assuming you're sticking to, you know, the sort of uh, general established canon. All of them are watching over you at all times. Uh, the gods That's that horrifying. You... Why is Nixus watching over me? I ain't done nothing to her. <laughs> uh, you know, it's more of a sort of spiritual watching over. They're, they're looking out for you when it is relevant for them to do so. Uh, the right. gods that you choose to call to and, and to, you know, engage in conversation with or to devote yourself to are just the gods that um, their essence is, is uh, what you want to see more of in the world. You know, um, I'm a cleric of Stendar. Uh, I personally am partial to the city to uh i did gather uh, you know, that from the turtle on your chest there yes it is a pretty it's a pretty good uh symbol of that uh it's you know i i resonate very well with ideals of community and and citizenship and the the belonging that comes from the city and also you know the the, the fortifications uh, the peace yeah. and comfort of a dwelling place. But that being said, you know, I give praise and, and worship to uh, Adivar as well, uh, patron god of uh, many craftsmen. So of course, has a place in my heart. Um, to the to the warrior gods as well, because you know, members of the city, the the city guard are are always out fighting to protect. So uh, two things. Um, mm -hmm. One, I don't want to take too much of your time. I know you're not here to talk to me. I appreciate it, but. Your friend's here, and he's clearly going through it. Second, um, and he sort of, like, leads you away from Galnus as if he's, like, ashamed of this. Mm -hmm. Could you, um, could you put me in touch with Oblak? I do really love gardening. My friend, I'll put you in touch with any god that you want. Right, right will... don't, don't, uh, don't tell nobody. It's, uh, it was a little frowned upon where I'm from. I'll lean in almost conspiratorially. It'll be our little secret. Uh, that said, inside of your own heart, if that is where you feel safest, do not shy away from any of the gods. If they call to you, feel free to answer them. They will, they will make themselves known to you in ways that are, that are safe for you and, and not intrusive to your connections in the community. They'll, they'll find you where you need to be found. He, he nods and he kind of smiles and as he does, he goes to like scratch his other arm. And you can see, because I'm assuming your passive perception is pretty high. He yeah, does this... actually have a symbol of Oblak on his other arm that he keeps covered with a sleeve. I love this man so much. <laughs> He's excellent. I hate um, him. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll give him a little... No, you don't. You're a I'll give him a little friendly <laughs> nudge. By the way, um, I used to take plenty of walks through the garden at, at the Temple of Stendar. It's one of my favorite places. A lot of people, I, like, I know what you mean. A lot of people think that uh, gardening and, and stewardship of plants is, is unmanly or, you know, sh a sign of weakness. Have you seen gardeners? Those guys are out there lifting big pruning shears over their heads all day. They're jacked. Oh, Some of the strongest yeah. people I've ever seen. Well, so, um... No oh, the forge no is getting cold, and he like <laughs> he runs off and starts like working the bellows again. Clovis will take a moment to himself, cross his arms, satisfied. <laughs> I would say, um, work and go. Hmm. I did. Okay, it. DM. Chances are he put probably wouldn't have noticed because he'd be looking at the color of my steel. But uh -huh. as the forge, um, I'd be talking to obviously Adivar and uh, the Hearth Mother the entire time. Internally, I'm not speaking out loud. But as I noticed the bellows not being worked, I would just be pushing put heat metal. Yeah. So if he's looking at the metal, which is the only place he can look really to see where I'm at, he wouldn't notice anything. So I'm going to tell you something out of character. Yeah. He didn't think the forge was getting cold. He was getting a little awkward in the conversation and needed an out. 
Well, I don't know if I want him around anymore, him walking away from the forge <laughs> talking about gardening. No. <laughs> you don't know what he was talking about. We were talking about whatever it was, it disappointed me. No. We were talking about lifting weights with Adivar. Um <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll walk over and uh, sort of Clovis because he clearly has not spent very much time around a forge. Will lean in a little bit closer than he maybe should to kind of inspect what you're doing. Huh? It looks hot. As you lean in, I would shoot my hand. Uh, my my because I use the hammer obviously in my right, so my mm. left would shoot out and just stop you before you get too uh, close. And I'd be like, if you value your hair, you'll stay back. Hmm. I do very much. It's a big part of sort of how I let myself be perceived by the outside world. So thank you for that. Um, I'm assuming it's supposed to be hot like this. Yes. Otherwise, the the the, the forging and the uh, the welding of these pieces wouldn't happen. Ah, in that case, excellent work. Uh, how can I sort of get in on this process? Get a little god magic happening. I. I don't know. Okay. If you if you want to still help, you're 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 welcome to. You're welcome oh yes, to. we're gonna figure out how to put this blade through that little girl's face, and that's not a that's not a sentence I say very often or very lightly. But yeah. she deserves it. You kind of get like the side eye from Dodger, just like. No, it's okay. She's an evil little girl. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's sure not way. helping. That's not helping. Um. It's a bad entity that took the form of a girl. Mm -hmm. She's kind of the reason we're all trapped here. Oh. Yeah. Right, wait, no, I know who that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have just said little girl. That's not very descriptive. I mean, yeah. Yeah, maybe don't do that in Palak Company. Mm -hmm. Man, no, if, I, if a... only someone would give her a name and then I would know what to call her instead of just like, little girl or like bad person the thing or, below uh that's good i'll stick with that for now much better than little girl that's kind of incredible yeah um your uh your book glows you feel like the heat from it oh okay well hold on i've gotten a text from knowledge and i flip open the book um you feel like there's nothing written on the first few pages and you do have to turn a few pages to get to it, but it says, um, entry 175. The entity would only identify itself as Maya. Okay. Hope all that loud clacking got picked up by my microphone so everyone would know how furiously I noted that down. Um, I want you to know, because nice. of what this thing's actual name is, it was almost Moira, and I'm like, mm, no, <laughs> better not. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, in any case, um, yes, I, I am, I'm here to <laughs> sort of figure out how to bless this metal. Um, I have so... the essence of two friends within this forge being used to lick the metal and, 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 and touch it and, and turn it into something great. I don't know what more I can offer outside of my own energy. Oh, I'm which glad I've to been hear... using already. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that your friends are licking and touching this metal. And what you're doing to it is very important. I'm just going to try and sort of see if I can figure out the, you know, how to imbue a sort of lasting property into it. What they're doing, phenomenal. What you're doing, phenomenal. I'm just gonna, you know, sort of uh, see if I can put a little, uh, little bit of spin on it. Okay. Hmm. You're more than All welcome right. to do what you'd like. I suppose, first and foremost, it's gonna make the most sense to, hmm, well, the two of you are right here. Uh, uh, Clovis will take a bit of a knee. Uh, Mother Hearth, Advar, I would like to assist your chosen smith and imbue a lasting blessing into this metal. Would you show me how? Well, I mean, you could ask them, but your power doesn't come from them, does it, Clovis? Uh, well, good, um, hmm? 
And as you look to the side, you see um, sort of leaning on that, like, column uh, is Stendar. I fully prostrate myself. Oh, like, get, 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 get off the ground, you strange oh, little okay. man. Sorry, sorry. I, that's what we do at the... <clears throat> Hello. I... And I know it's what you do, and I've told your high priest so many times that I hate it. And I'm not sure he can hear me, which makes me think he really shouldn't be your high priest. Goodness. I've, they they seem to think it was a great idea because it, when we get down like that and sort of hunch it, we're almost it's like a little turtle shell. We like hunch our backs and. Do you know what happens we'll when st- a I'll stop falls, doing Clovis? Um, it's not protecting anyone anymore. You need to be a bastion. Uh, he'll sort of snap to attention at that. Uh, understood. Go now that. Oh, fine work this Smith is doing. Yeah. He's one of the better I've ever seen. Well, you need me to roll to see how good I'm actually doing. <laughs> You're over there just fucking it up, mangling this. Look, actually, door. I do need that. I need <laughs> you to do. Um, let's see. Uh, you because you're using your god's power. I will allow you to either use strength or charisma plus proficiency plus a d20. You can choose. Doesn't matter. It's a nat twenty. <laughs> it's yeah, baby. It, it, it is, would be a 29. It is as if it was forged in the Adamant Isles themselves. It is beautiful. It is <clears throat> the finest master smiths in the Adamant Isles could not have done better. They could have done as well, for sure, but they could not have done better. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, Bosrek, with his. <laughs> He's got it. <clears throat> um, oh, yes. Very fine work. Um,. What are you trying to do? You're trying to put a blessing on it. Yes. Um, we've encountered uh, an entity now, and I'm sure we'll encounter more in the future, that uh, can only be damaged by blessed steel. So that's sort of the main thing. It kind of, I don't know how exactly that works. As far as I know, we kind of just need to put a blessing on it. But of course, um, you've seen uh, Balsrick. He's been our sword a few times. Um, this is to be his weapon, so uh, if there's anything specific that can make him a better sword for us. Well, let the forging finish first. Mm. But you can gather things. Uh, sacred oil is necessary, and you need to decide what you want this sword to do. There are several things that it can do, only a few that I can do for you, but... Well... You are a cleric of mine in good standing. I can put in a good word for you with someone else. You're too kind, my lord. I can give this sword a matter of protection for the wielder, so that he can use both hands without the need for a shield. I can have it do more damage. I could have it glow, I suppose. Or I could reach out to my, uh... And he kind of hesitates here, like, Purses his lips, which is weird for a turtle because he doesn't really have lips. But he does that thing that Uguay does in Kung Fu Panda where he's just like... <laughs> mm-hmm. I could reach out to Xanagos and put some sort of vampiric effect on the weapon. Hmm. I think that one might still... That might be a little soon for Soul that spot, one. Soul spot? Understandable. Mm-hmm. Well, think on it. Think what you want it to yes. do. When the sword is done, call on me again. I will. Thank you, my lord. And then he sort of toddles off into the middle distance and disappears. Does anybody else have anything pressing they want to get done in this last bit of downtime? Because I'm going to tell you straight up, this is the end of downtime. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh... No, but I don't think, and I don't know that this conversation necessarily needs to happen in character. If you wanted to, uh, it can. But I think Clovis would ask Bosric what he would want the sword to do. Of the Go for it. Uh, yeah, as I'm going around collecting or, or creating the materials that I need, um, Bos, uh, Clovis would, would stop by you and say, Hey, um, getting ready to do the put the blessing on the sword. Uh, there are a couple things that I could make it able to do. Uh, is there anything particular you had in mind? I can give it a sort of 
warding aura, so it uh, you wouldn't necessarily need to use your shield with it. I've seen you use it two-handed a couple times. I could make that a more permanent thing. Um, I could make it glow. I don't know what exactly that does, but it could glow. Um, You're muted, Bosric. Boss is currently in the most shadowed corner of the place, so he's just kind of with it with with Fangbreaker. He's got. I can let give it meditate. a sort of. Let me meditate on it. Okay, sure. Um. And um, he will actually go somewhere, a room with no light, and light a like and light a single candle, and and lay out Fang Breaker and kneel, and kind of commune, instead of I don't know how this works, but. Udrashi, if I'm to follow your path, if I'm to be your blade here, what power should my sword hold that I can use it to finally punish that entity for all its crimes? Go ahead and make a religion check for me. It's not. 19. Uh, well, that's my role. It's my uh, twenty-one. Okay. Um, you get Garashi doesn't speak to you directly. Um, I didn't think he would. <laughs> but you get the feeling that. Garashi's, like, you just sort of get, like, the impulse of speed. Um, and damage is nice, but speed is what you want. So probably the impulse is either the not fighting with a shield or something speed-related. And you also get the idea that if Clovis wants to consecrate your sword for Garashi, he could. And I'll blow up a candle and find close. Dedicate the blade to Lord Garashi. I'm walking the Tengu path now. Something, something. Maybe. And, he, and, he, and he's he's holding his well. He's holding Fangbreaker, but he's looking at his other unblemished hand. Hmm. All right. Something with speed. Mm -hmm. It's this hand that's blemished, by the way. Oh, there's a left hand? Mm -hmm. oh. It's the hand closest to your heart. Makes sense. But not my sword hand. <laughs> no, not hand. your sword hand. Well, it might be one of your sword hands in the future. Yeah. Something with speed to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll put in a good word with Garashi. Thanks, mate. Uh, and then I go do that. Okay. Um, so you are communing with uh, the shadow spirit and the shadows that you are meditating in, because it's probably very unsettling for Clovis to meditate in darkness, but he mm. knows that's what he has to do. Yeah, I think there'd be um, a moment of, he'd go into a, a mostly dark room, light a candle, and I think there'd be a moment of hesitation before he snuffs it out because it's uh, a bit unsettling, but he would just stand up. In that moment, as you reach for it, you see um, a silver clawed hand reach out and snuff it as your fingers reach it. And you look up to see that silver mask, which is all you see. You don't see any of the rest of Garashi. You just see the mask in the darkness. Hmm. What do you require of me, Clovis? <clears throat> And it cocks its head at you like a bird. 
uh, in his uh, best impression of the Stendar voice that comes through him sometimes, uh, trying to give himself courage. <clears throat> Lord Garashi, uh, one of your favored ones seeks consecration on this blade, and I would give it to him. But uh, he wants to make sure it is something that pleases you. So whatever you would wish for him to hold, I will be the conduit. You can't see a smile, but you feel a smile from this silver mask. Um, and it, you see that clawed hand come forward again, and it opens up, and you see like a black flame in the middle. This is a little something that Xenagost and I worked on together. Give his blade the power of the Black Flame. The Raven wills it. The city makes it so. Mm. We are fond of your cities. So much you leave in the shadows. So many alleys. So many dark places. I think you and I will be great friends, Clovis. And then you feel like just a burst of wind as the silver mask fades back into the shadows. Okay. Is the is the magic in the sword? No, but you now know how to consecrate the sword with the magic. Okay. Um... It is going to require several checks because it's not something you've ever done before. Mm hmm Um... I am willing to stand by and burn luck luck charms to give you rerolls. Or okay. luck, uh, okay. luck points to give you rerolls. Uh I think Clovis will pick the blade up and start walking to the uh to the edge of the room, but before he steps out of the door, I think he'll stop and he'll just do a little like <laughs> I did it. <laughs> uh and then he'll open it and step out. I well, thought I thought I was still working on the blade. You're working on a blade. This is the blade that he the new one that he had that he got from the Matron. I okay, I was like, wait mm -hmm. a second, I'm working on Bosric's yeah. sword right now. No. But, to quote, uh, uh, to no. quote 47 Ronin, a samurai carries two swords. Mm -hmm. The The intention was to consecrate uh, the new sword that uh, Galnus is mm -hmm. making. Mm -hmm. Not, uh, not fancy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not done yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's apparently flippin' amazing, but um, it's not done yet. Mm -hmm. Masterpieces take time. Mm -hmm. Well, a net 20 on it's not bad. That's pretty no. good. Um, so then, yeah, I'll I'll find Boz uh, and I'll I'll tell him. All right, I have my answer. And uh, I am going to honor that nat twenty. While it is not a magical weapon, it does have plus one to the attack roll because it's a it's a masterwork. <laughs> nice. Is it um, uh, plus one to hit, plus one to damage, or just plus one to hit? Just plus one to hit. All right. Uh, so I'll, I, whenever whenever the sword is ready to be consecrated, uh, I will gather Bosric and go to consecrate. Okay. We will do that at the beginning of the next session. Unless there is something that Zir or Quedon are chomping at the bit to do, I think that is actually a good place to wrap for this week.